Let us get the show on the road. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night. Yes, it is. Ooh. La da da do. Boo boo boo. Do 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 do. It's gonna be. A long night tonight with Shemay and Ronnie and Randy. How you doing? Goat head, honey. There you go. She was sweet on me. She was sweet on me. It's a big woo. It's going to be a long night tonight, guys. We got a lot on the agenda. And I need the chat to do me a big favor. Fire Chick, love you. Hello, Catherine. Love you. Everybody, I love to love fest. Soon we'll be love festing everyone. The love fest. I've got somebody on a bike. Come on through, bro. Right. I mean, what are we going to do here? How are we going to do this shit? Right. <sighs> Trying to make sure this guy can get by here. Uh, shit, we're gonna have to go right. Oh, shit. What an asshole. Dangerous place to be. Dangerous place to be. Pull out on me, dude. Go ahead. Oh, if I was an insurance company, I would charge quadruple if you live in this neighborhood. But don't let that get out. Oh, do 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 do. So I need you guys to remind me, we desperately, hello Paul, we desperately need a um, can opener for sure, or we're going to be dead in the water, because we have to uh, get some pizza gone tonight, we got a pie to get gone, we got all kinds of shit to get going here. Alright. I wanted to ask the chat, Ronnie, just to remind me to pick up a can opener. I'm hoping Grocery Outlet in the little hoo doo da uh, might have a can opener. Uh, I don't ever want an electric one. I like the hand ones. Uh, but both birds and mine have uh, both gone tits up. So that's the way that goes tonight. And it's going to be... It's going to be a hand when I'm going to pick one up tonight, Catherine. I don't like the electric ones. I uh, like the hand ones. Give a little extra hand exercise there. So I've got to go all the way around here to go get a uh, coffee because it's so screwed up. Well, we just we destroyed it. I mean, these things only last so long, right? And then... Uh, you know, it's funny, both Bird and I, I mean, I guess we could have the old school one in the night that you could just kind of work along the edge, but uh, why be so barbaric, right? Uh, yeah, I, I don't like electric can openers, just, just more stuff I don't have counter space for, so I'm trying to declutter. Hey, Noreen, goddamn electric bill today, but I'm not going to talk about that uh, tonight. Uh, we're going to keep moving. We're going to have some fun. We got a lot of stuff to do. It is music night too, so hopefully you'll save your shekels. It's a nice way to support the channel. I always hope we can broaden out support here if you're here and you enjoy the content on the daily. It's a really nice way uh, to um, show your musical taste and give uh, give a little boost to the channel too. What are, what are, what are we doing here, dude? What are, what are we doing? Goathead. Never knew that you were going to turn right. How, oh, boy, you almost had it into that car, right? Uh, yeah, I can't afford counter space. I got nothing for counter space. 
I'd like to just explode out the back of the house and have a full-size kitchen, master bedroom, and a bath, full bath. But the chances of that, no, it's I have a greater chance of it being uh, hit by a piece of a Chinese satellite falling out of the sky than to having that done one day. Hello, Alex. So, I mean, that ain't going to happen. Hello, Bella Rose. How you doing, sweetie? So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a long one tonight. I just don't want to forget the can opener. Yeah, it's perfect size for one person, but it's it's also very limiting. You know, I mean, love to have a center island. Oh boy, here we go. We're just blocking traffic. I'd love to have a center island, uh, better camera placement, everything like that. We get a special wait and patiently for Sunday's Bills game. It should be a good one. Should be a good one. I think my brother indicated he's going to be going to the game. Travels all over the place for games and stuff. Do 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 Uh, well, what's the brand of it? I don't know. You know, I mean, um, you know, I've had good. I've had the kind of soft hands that you use for people that have arthritis I've had Martha Stewart's crap I've had every can opener under the sun and I figure if I get two years out of it I'm happy so all right I shall return everybody we do have shopping tonight
somebody's burning firewood tonight. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. All right, we got Noreen here, Cass. Hello, good to see you. Cass tonight, I hope that you are well. We got Elmer, uh, Catherine. Uh, let's see if I forgot anybody. I apologize. We'll be picking up steam as the night goes on. Red Robos, how are you? Good to see you. Make sure this chat's advancing. I'm not often on prism and I'm a little nervous because last night uh, Blackbird had all kinds of problems with prism, so I don't know. Oh, that coffee hits the spot. That coffee hits the spot. So it's good to see everybody tonight. Listen, real quick um, coffee, BS a wall, gone shopping need to get a can opener so if we have to run up to Safeway or something we're gonna have to go up to Safeway and get it or uh, uh, big lots or something like that we're gonna get a can I have Cuisinart, I've owned Tendon God at Ross or so oh, that's good Lurker how you doing today video quality is excellent tonight yeah Noreen sometimes we get it Christina from Flint wow we got YouTube royalty in here tonight. I haven't seen you in a long time. What an honor to see you in the chat tonight. There's one of the OGs there. Uh, Susan, got, got, great to see you too, honey. All up as well is going pretty good. Hello, June. Everything's going pretty good. Uh, the year's off to a good start. Hello, Alan. Uh, Lurker, nice to see you tonight. So, um, uh, generally, I don't know, I guess most people don't look up what's the best um, can openers. It's, uh, I don't know, I mean, if I get two years out of one, it's a lot. Now we're opening cat food and all kinds of stuff, we're just destroying it. I've been thinking with all that horrible, oh, it was bad, honey, I've been thinking about you. You, getting a, you got good drinking water up there now? Right, remember all the troubles with the Flint uh, water system up there? all gone can you imagine that so we're going to be shopping tonight uh, we're going to be making the pie tonight they've indicated they want a lemon pie uh, Shimei in the future I will make the lemon cake don't worry it's really a rather rich uh, cake pound cake because it uses uh, two and a half cups of sugar which is almost like you might as well just pour the sugar bowl down your mouth and uh, a pound two sticks of butter half a pound of butter I mean it's it's a really 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 heavy duty cake and then I'm gonna finish with some dinner I've got some pizza dough I pulled out of the uh, freezer let that come up to um, temperature good evening Amanda how are you overcoming and fighting a man all right there you go that's what I would expect from you, Christina. It's so awesome to see you tonight. I haven't seen you in so long. And don't forget, too, guys, it is music night tonight. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, it's a lot of people. It'd be nice. You're here all the time. It'd be nice to step up a little bit, play a tune, and uh, all enjoy it. We have a good time. Uh, and it gives a little bit of support for the uh, channel. So it's going to be a very long night tonight. We got a lot on the table this evening. So um, best sit back, strap in. Um, I did go metal detecting today. I had another run-in. I was here in the hood. I had a run-in with a guy here that uh, had ownership of the streets. And uh, you'll see that on the video. I mean, nothing violent, but just I get tired of people that... Um, don't have a pot to piss in and they're going to tell you what you can and can't do on the uh, streets it's not going to be that my partner looking forward to the music will you be um, I don't know South Philly how are you our music night is mainly people pick a tune off of YouTube that has 50,000 plus views and they put that link into the dono alerts for the music and it plays it's going to be a lot tonight it's going to be a lot I look <laughs> I hate in reverse. Holy hell. Uh, don't I wish that that was the case? I'd be 27 years old now and be be a real real Billy badass, that's for sure. But, uh, Christine, it's awesome to see you tonight. I haven't seen you in uh, a long time. Louise, how are you? Good to see you tonight. 
so we're down to really like one night a week for the uh music which is friday night so um and it's fun we always have a good time sometimes we have three songs sometimes we have 20 it just depends what the mood is that people are uh in so hi brandy how are you so um yeah i mean it's another case i can hardly go at metal detecting in the hood anymore with that having that's just i don't know what it is just some people are bound and determined uh that they're just gonna get in your grill they're just gonna have a negative encounter with you your mind in your own business uh, i hope i can keep my eyes open not one wink of sleep well why don't you go to sleep why don't you take a nap because by the time you wake up i'll still be on there Catherine. get yourself a good uh good nap so uh, I ain't going anywhere, so I'm committed to a um, committed to a long night uh, tonight. So I know I've got multiple things I got to bake. I'm going to be doing it all inside tonight, though. Um, you know, as long as I'm running the oven, we don't run heat in the house. But as long as I'm running the oven, we might as well enjoy the heat that's uh, being put out uh, in there. I may make a butter crust tonight. Mrs. Miller, that's it. I couldn't remember. <laughs> dooby dooby doo, boo 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 doo, boo. Strangers in the night, la da da do 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 do. But it's a way for you to express the music you like. It's um, it's always a lot of fun. So we generally don't do that until shopping's over. And we're back on the uh, uh, Rancho. I do need some things at the store. Yes, I will be buying eggs. People are more confrontational than I've found. Really just sort of aggressive. I mean, it's aggressive today. I mean, I'm metal detecting. And, uh, you know, the guy just starts to get into my stuff. And I'm just like, you know, dude, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, you know, he, all his friends in lock up in jail, weapons violent. You know, dude, whatever. Okay, you'll see that tomorrow. That'll be coming up. And, uh, oh, no problem, Shemay. You stay as long as you can. It's an honor to have you here. Uh, and it's always appreciated, never required to be here. So, um, as long as you can be here, that is awesome. And I know you got a speaking engagement in the morning. Be scintillating. Be scintillating. Uh, so then it's off to the... Uh, Bobby's going to pick me up at noon tomorrow. We're going to head down to uh, the Boston Janet's. I need to pick up a uh, bottle of wine tonight too. Don't let me forget that uh, to pick up. June, how are you doing? Good to see you tonight. We had uh, Amanda was talking about her... The Barry Manilow concert was still knocking it out of the park would you say he was 79 or 81 something like that Amanda and you know I can't smile without you yeah there will you'll see him tomorrow I'm sure the boss will be uh he'll be in fine fettle tomorrow I have an overnighter so the chances of being yelled at by the boss are infinitely greater than just an afternoon evening visit uh tomorrow so I'm sure I'll do something to hit the explode button. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, every once in a while, somebody that works at the nitroglycerin fact factory goes, uh, you know, goes sky high, right? It happens. Yeah, the boss is always in fine form, isn't he? Although he's mellowed quite a bit since uh, he stopped drinking about two years ago. Uh, so it's not the quite it's not quite as uh, irritating and rambunctious when he's uh, you know when he was drinking it would get a little wild once in a while he'd kick Janet at 3 a.m. she's in bed well let's go we're going to we're going to Denny's right 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning get dressed we're <laughs> mm. at the Copa. Copacabana, the hottest club north of Havana. Ooh, 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 -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, he was very wild back in the day. He's been tamed a lot, but he still has an opinion about everything. You trust and believe that. 
So my metal detecting was kind of the usual today, but uh, you'll be able to check that out tomorrow. I think it came in about 16 minutes long. I had uh, two people I encountered that uh, uh, wanted to be on the video. So the nice, the second guy was real. Uh, he was he was really cool. I mean, you get some people that are curious. Hey, Nino, and I'm right out in um, right on the street too. So it's just the way it goes. Nino, how are you doing tonight? Um, so I will be making that, uh, cake in the future. It's Ina Garten's, I call it the triple lemon overload cake, where you pour lemon, you put lemon zest into the batter, you put lemon juice, you pour it in with sugar, uh, 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 syrup, you pour that on the cake itself and it absorbs, and then you finish with a confectioner's sugar glaze on top of it. But like I said, it uses two and a half cups of uh, sugar. Now maybe it's to make two of them. I can't remember the recipe whether it's to make two. I think it's just to make one. But everything that she does tends to be very high, uh, high calorie uh, eats. I mean, it's it's really good. It's amazing. Sure, but some are uh, gonna intrusive, and I know, yeah, the does yep. Can you tell I've been using the word goofy and trust and believe? <laughs> I don't know, Catherine. It's, I mean, it's delicious. It's great. I've made it many times before on the uh, channel. It works well. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty long drawn out process. You've got to, uh, hey Angus, you, hey Bonnie. You've got to uh, uh, put holes, you know, use a knife to create places for the lemon, the lemon syrup to go down. I mean, it's a, it's a process, and you can't put the icing on until it's totally cooled down. Or you know, if you try to pour confectioner's uh, sugar icing on, it'll just melt unless that thing is perfectly, uh, perfectly cool. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good, Noreen, but I have to double check the recipe to see what the, I don't know whether it makes two, two or one, because that's a lot of, um, that's a luger, hey, that's a lot, hey, Joy, how are you? Um, so it'll, it'll be fun tonight, uh, won't be eating till later tonight, it is beer night tonight, I'm looking forward to having some beer, as you guys know, I restrict my drinking to, uh, Friday, and Saturday now, and I can't I can't say anything negative about that. That's worked out very well for me. I haven't missed uh, haven't missed it at all, which makes me feel good. It makes me appreciate uh, Friday and Saturday nights a little more. So I will be taking some uh, beer down with me. I'll probably be picking up uh, another case uh, like rum cake too. Rum soaks into the cake. I think that's it too. So my advice, Catherine, is taking taking that. Come back in four hours. I'll still be winging it on here. Hey, Lyle, how are you? Uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to anybody, uh, Lyle. So uh, right, all right. What's up, Brad? How you doing? All right. Uh, Bud Light here and medical marijuana, LOL. Hmm. That LOL on the end. Hmm. Uh, uh, I like bourbon balls. I like Mexican, um, those Mexican wedding balls or whatever they are that are rolled in, they're walnut or almonds and they're really good. You roll it in, uh, confectioner sugar and it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. But I'm just afraid I'm going to forget that thing. Yeah, Mexican wedding cakes, they're delicious. Yeah, yeah, they're really, really good. They're kind of fatty. Hello, Joe. They're kind of fatty, but they are delicious. Welcome to uh, anyone in Australia, New Zealand. Good to have you along tonight. 
I'd say that they're probably one of my favorite cookies, and they're not that hard. They're rather easy to make, too. They're not difficult to uh, make, but they're just really savory, and they taste, uh, they taste amazing. So I'm going to use up this um, pizza dough I have tonight, and that's going to be, um, it's going to be a small, <clears throat> it's only going to be like a half size piece. I don't have that much of it or else it's going to be very, very uh, thin. I had friends that used to make bourbon balls with wild turkey. Yeah, but wild turkey's, uh, uh, you know, it's not a bourbon whiskey. It's a, it's a whiskey, it's a Tennessee type whiskey. Uh, you know, you really need to have the bourbon for, uh, for bourbon balls, but they're good. I don't generally bake a lot with alcohol. I mean, using that port wine, uh, when I did, I don't, I can't remember what the hell I used. Uh, what, was I doing that with the, uh, imitation, um, the hell was I making, Shimei? Was I making the, um, the mock beef wellington i can't remember what the hell i used the um what did i use to port wine in i can't even remember was it port i can't even remember uh, uh, uh ooh. I think it was. Oh, the French onion soup. That was it. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Shemay. Yes, the French onion soup. That turned out amazingly. Uh, we might do another rendition of that. That turned out so beautifully. Uh, but I think one of the things we want to try to do is some people were talking about the pot pie. The chicken pot pie. We want to make the pot pie and finish that off in the um, barbecue grill. Uh, there's something really nice about chicken pot pie. And you can make a lot of... Hey, Jamie. You can make a lot of uh, filling for pot pies beforehand and just refrigerate it. I'm cooking pork tenderloin again with lemon pepper, so I haven't figured out uh, why it's so cheap. You know, I don't know, Ronnie. Don't question it. Just enjoy it. Pork loin is amazingly good you're not buying bone i mean i love pork loin it just it's it's great right yeah i'm sitting in a van and it's uh yeah we're uh, our days are getting longer again michelle we're adding 48 minutes of uh sunlight i can't see my my new inners evan dark i can see y'all in chat so far yeah i don't know nino the hell? Did you got a high enough speed on that thing? I don't know. I hope you got a good enough speed. I mean, Canadian internet really just uh, blows me a pot pie. That's a huge comfort food around. It feels good. Stick and feels like uh, feels like home. It's also you can make the complete pot pie, which has the pastry bottom to it and the top. Or you can just put a top of pastry, which most restaurants are doing these days. Very few of them are giving you the full pot pie experience of cooking that um, cooking that out and that's a really good use for puff pastry too is uh, just putting on top of a uh, of a pot pie it's delicious so we need to do a Rio TGIF so we need to do that type of a um, pot pie uh, for just yeah the top and the bottom because the bottom's good hey Sarita how are you because it tastes good Right, pot pie and shepherd's pie, nice. Uh, thank you, Margie, and good evening to you. Welcome aboard. Everybody strap in. Pork loin is outstanding. You get that with some good barbecue sauce, and wow. Uh, mixed veggies and cream Insta crust. yes, nice. Um, yeah, you guys are making me really hungry, and I'm hours away from eating. Yeah, try to turn pixelation. Uh, I'm not sure, Ronnie. She just got new internet. I hope it's not um, bummed out, clapped out uh, service, you know, where she is. Um, so many people, it's a struggle in Canada for decent uh, internet. I mean, uh, when I was up in, uh, well, I told you the travails of Rogers Communications and all that. They really screwed me. Hey, Brenda. 
Look at that title, Nick B. I'm going to be doing pizza tonight. I'm going to be doing pie, beer. How you like me now on there, huh? <laughs> uh, I went to Janet's on Christmas, and the look on her face when I walked in that door. The fruit trees fare well, Christina, because all of the stone fruit has been picked months ago. And the citrus really has to be pulled off the tree. You can't, it, the wind's not going to blow it off the oranges and uh, lemons. I walked in that door on Christmas with the bottle of wine. Right, I had my bag with a few beers in it, lugging Bobby in there. And uh, she's like, where's the pie? And I'm like, what? The pie. I thought you were going to bring a lemon pie. And I'm like, um, I texted you a couple days ago. What should I bring? Just bring what you're going to drink. Okay. And then you were going to make it. You're making a cheesecake. And I thought, okay. I'm so glad none of them blew over or broke. Thank, thank you, Christina. We had some damage. Uh, next week is going to be... Uh, I don't know. I might blow out of town. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I am glad. I was going to go. I looked today. I looked at... Uh, uh, the hell did I look at? Uh, chainsaws today. And I just decided I got some $15 Sawzall pruning blades. So I'm just going to use the long extension cord and uh, do it up with uh, do it up with that so I'm not gonna have another piece of something around there and I'll work on trying to improve the existing electric chainsaws which I have two of them I have a pole saw which is pretty good and then I have a regular electric chainsaw so I just uh, right now I have to consider them kind of junk in the shop so um, Next week I'll be tackling that. The slab of ribeye was 170. We got it for 103 and a roast and 16 steaks. Wow, that's um, wow, that's a hell of a. Uh, let me tell you, Joyride, that's quite a yield off of that. 16 steaks. Wow, chicks were miserable during a storm. My brother went to the Russian River. He was in California. He looked like what? Oh yeah, it was big. It, you, I don't know if you saw my videos of the Santa Rosa Creek was raging. Uh, down here is rainy season over i tend to doubt it are we at the worst is the worst of rainy season over it could very well be um, but i know our reservoirs have uh, filled up quite a bit i'm not sure about i don't think uh i think hoover i think lake mead rose one foot or something uh, not a lot, so because I think more people are drawing out of Lake Mood Mead. I think the theory is it'll never uh, fill up again. All right, so you didn't make a bad a pie before going. Don't hate me uh, about a pie. I need. I don't hate you, Ronnie. I'm just saying I need to get a can opener if he can help me with pixelation on this. Uh, pad he knows a lot um can you can you dial down your uh, resolution to maybe 480p or something on there or uh 240 you know 280 or something 288 or uh you know to take the uh to take the um uh, resolution down a bit yeah we're going vittle shopping tonight brenda i need to get some stuff yeah but uh, it's a lot of rain here. Yeah, there was a lot. It was a lot June, and I tell you, I feel I feel really good that we got the rain we needed. Now you can move on. You've done your job. Uh, Kitchen Stadium is still standing proud, busted up, but standing. Uh, you know, and I just I had it. I don't I don't need any more uh, drama of the weather. I'm sure we'll have some, but. I'm sure we will have some. But the can opener is required. I mean, I'm going to have to shop. If they don't have one, I'm going to have to run into Safeway or Big Lots and pick one up. Uh, I'll probably pick up one. I don't even know if Blackbird uses them. Most of, uh, most of the stuff, I don't know. I guess if they're there, maybe I will. 
we don't get warm storms now melt all our snowpack cause flooding uh yeah that's a good thought alan i don't know i'd love to see the stanislaus river right now i'd love to see that right down there at knight's uh, knight's ferry I see Alaska. How you doing? You doing it up? Do 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 do. Ooh ooh ooh. Uh, TikTok you falls. <laughs> TikToking, huh? Tick 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 tock. Tick, 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 tick. I'm still working on Rumble. I'm waiting for more people to pop over there. Once I get 20 people, then I don't have to pay uh, to live stream. I even picked up a shovel once. It's never happened in my life. Wow, Christina. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Christina from Flint is very OG. She's been around since the Boyd. Uh, she is OG. Been around, she's seen it all over the years. Ain't much that she's missed back in the day on um, on YouTube with uh, you know the old RV community and all that stuff. Uh, I was really tired last night. Yeah, if you need to bail or take a nap or something, yeah, 2015. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it all, super, super dude, super doggy. You seen it all? <laughs> I think super doggy, somebody I must know. <laughs> and well, are you keeping an eye on that intersection? We've had an accident actually, but back there before on the live, somebody sideswiped somebody. No window liquors in the months. Yes, yes. We were sitting here one night and that car hit another car. You can just see it right uh, right there. I couldn't even pull out on my street tonight. Right. I'm waiting for a core mark man to show up. Boot me the hell out of here. So I need, I know I need milk tonight, I need eggs, yes, I'm already yours, Timothy, you know that. Uh, the Stanislaus River, and it's really not, that. did you drive over there, Alan? AP2E, how you doing tonight? That baby looks like that son of a bitch could rage. I live in Sam. We have never met, but I always drop by your... Oh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Doug. appreciate that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Beautiful San Diego. Uh, write the shopping list. I don't have anything to write with. I know I need, uh, I need a lot of stuff tonight. I need quite a few things tonight. I need some uh, salami. I need to get some more... Uh, prison sauce if they have it uh, probably get us uh, just have to look around a little bit I'm hoping they have that canned uh, prison sauce I did a little YouTube shorty today about spiking that up and making that really taste uh, delicious by adding a little rice wine vinegar and, uh, add can opener to the list yeah, that's the thing that, yeah, prison sauce to read. You know, the stuff that comes cheap in the can from Hunt's, right? I just call it, <laughs> you could call it institutional or you could call it the prison. Uh, <laughs> like tonight's going to be a prison pizza, right? That's all it's gonna <laughs> so we need to get some cheese side opening can opener it's cleaner i don't think i'm gonna be able to get one we know you need that sausage lady yes they've been holding a lot of water in new melanin sand so stand on stuff is uh, okay cool that's good uh, cinnamon to tomato sauce that's interesting love seeing the supermarket out of red wine yes it's prison pizza night tonight megan uh, I'd like to think it's better than what they're going to dish out in prison. And I'd like to think it's a little better than they're serving up for $4.99 at uh, 
it's a 7-Eleven, which absolutely uh, amazes me. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pizza tonight for my dinner. I had another... I couldn't think of anything else to have tonight. Uh, so, yeah, I got this other half, one-third dough that I froze. It's going to make a little small prison pizza like you might get from the commissary. When you have a few bucks left over from buying your ramen noodles and you might get a little prison pizza that they sell and you, you pay 50 cents and then they'll heat it up on the uh, in the microwave. Actually, not bad. I was going to pick some up. I think it's absolutely great. Uh, I'm thinking of having pizza too. Nice. Prison sauce, cheese. <laughs> All right. So it's it's commissary, prison commissary pizza, right? Just microwave that baby up and there it is. Could I microwave it? No. Prisoners are not allowed to touch the... Uh, you might microwave somebody's head. <laughs> Turn it into a death ray. As a base all the time, that's what I do. I'm lately doing that. Yeah, we're going to pick up some um, salami tonight. It's just like pepperoni. I don't know. We're going to have to fire down a few bucks tonight for sure because we need some stuff. Rip always makes for nice dinner wine in the hood. Uh, Nick Alter tastes great. And I say, yeah, I just can't believe how good the beer tastes. And some people complain. If you're used to a heavy, full-bodied Bach beer or something like that, or a big uh, Guinness stat, you're not going to like it. You're going to whine. You're going to complain. It's too thin. It's too watery. But let me tell you, it goes down good, and it tastes pretty damn good, too. So I can't complain about it. Right. Good evening. Free samples. How are you tonight? So don't forget we got the metal detecting coming up tomorrow with another. Hey, William. Another guy with ownership of the streets. Yeah, I think it's a pretty amazing for a low-calorie, low-carb beer. I think it's... Uh, it's mind-blowing to me how they just... They hit the formula. Uh, I'm on a 20 or a 21.99. Yeah, they've got. Um, I think they got the same. Had the same deal with Safeway or something like that. I don't know. It's like we got Hell's Angels ripping through. So please keep in mind later, guys. It is music night tonight. It's a great way to support the channel. I'm encouraging people to please broaden out. If you've not supported the channel, picking a tune and playing it is a nice way to uh, do it. As is just a uh, regular donation is appreciated. Uh, PayPal or um, Cash App, it's very appreciated. They did it. The formula it's the best on the. I think it is. I think I think it's darn good. I mean, uh, you look at Bird, fifteen dollars for a six pack of uh, yeah, it's music night. Fifteen dollars. Hey North, fifteen bucks for a uh, six pack of uh, Heineken, right? Uh, all right, let's commence to shopping. Uh, That ain't a that ain't a cheap beer. Michelob Ultra is made uh, it's made in California. Thank you, William. And I read various points around the country by Budweiser, Anheuser Busch Brewing. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the prison microwave oven. Prisoners are not allowed to touch it. over. First thing I'm going to do is try to find this doggone can opener. Yeah, go ahead, dude. Don't let me slow you down. Uh, 
Rolling Rock and the Pony Bottles. Budweiser, I believe, brings in about uh, 47, 47 billion dollars a year. Anheuser Brewing, something between 20 billion and 40 billion a year, or something like that. But you guys have got to remember what you don't know is that Anheuser-Busch also private labels beer for South American countries, Central American countries. Those countries will supply the formula and Budweiser's factories will make that stuff. Okay, under that, under that label for that uh, whatever that brand is. Yeah, Miller is owned by a South African country, and uh, Anheuser's Busch is owned by a Belgian company now. I never thought I'd see Anheuser Busch sell out to a uh, foreign entity, but it seems to be going okay for them. When it's time to relax. Miller stands clear, beer after beer. If you've got the time, you've got the time, we've got the beer. Miller beer. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, are we turning or what are we doing? We could turn, are we going to piss down our leg? What are we doing? Get into the, oh, we're going to make a U. You. you did a Baltimore turn, right? You did even better than I did close to the intersection. Woo. Yeah, I went on a tour, Ronnie. You can see on my channel, Budweiser factory tour. Bobby got kicked out. I almost knocked Bobby over the third floor railing over the brew tanks down below. I almost ended his life in the brew tank. Hey, Blondie. So we got we got the royal boot. I am still working with vintage audio gear. I am. I've been doing a little shorty, spotlighting my equipment, and I'm getting ready to start. The uh, uh, I don't have a heater anymore. Birds using it, so uh, you know I can't really work in the shop when it's ultra cold. But I'm getting ready to start the uh, Morantz 4420 quadraphonic uh, units. Ooh, I don't know. I must, uh, you know, Bobby almost bought the farm, and then Bobby had people gave him a lot of drink coupons for free beer. So he didn't want to leave. He wanted to drink all the beer. Gets his water from Lake Berryessa. How about that? That's a real goat head experience right there. How you doing, Cobra John? Yeah, it's a, it's an old beer, but it really exploded in popularity when everybody. Michelob Ultra really took off when the uh, low-carb diets came in. Okay, thank you, doggy. Yep, I'm still doing it up. I'm doing shorties, all kinds of things. A month ago, YouTube told me, you're not doing any shorties. you got to start doing shorties. So I started adding uh, shorties to my repertoire. Yep, watch the brewery video. Just put uh, Budweiser Mansion, Captain Pabst, which is another cool video up there in Milwaukee. Yeah. It's telling me I got an unstable connection tonight. Really? This prism is really getting to be pro. It's something about how screwed up prism is lately. I will see you guys on the, the YouTube side, okay? I don't know why it's doing that. I know I'm buffering. There's nothing I can do about it, Icy. Right? Nothing I can do about it. Should be better now. No, now it's still not.
come and go. Oh boy, I can't stand. Prism is just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So it won't allow me enough words. Just send it to my Gmail, Russ. Send it to my Gmail. Yeah, hang in. If we can't keep, if we can't get it cured, we'll just start on the regular YouTube. And we'll ditch the prism tonight because uh, it just seems to be its usual. It's been acting up a lot lately. Yeah, it happens on other people's live streams. Prism is just, I don't know, it's an integration issue with YouTube is starting to pop up. Because <clears throat> we never really had a dead zone there before. I'm only in 720p. I'm not in 1080p. So, right. seem to hit some kind of goofy dead zone. How's the signal now? Has it improved any? No, I'm still showing that. Yeah, has it, has it, it got the picture now or nothing? and it continues to improve. Get better. Awesome. Uh, ridiculous that uh, in a city like this with Verizon, I don't know, it's like Verizon might be starting to go downhill and they might be dialing back to tower, the power. Yeah, a lot of people boondock here. I'm showing five bars out of five now. Together at last at twilight time. Uh, many a do, 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 do. It's twilight time. La da do 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 boo do do a lot of people boondock in California. All right, sky is clear. We got a hundred percent power, so we're not gonna drag a battery pack in. So oh 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 Do, do, do. Thank you, Russ. Uh, I don't know. Trying to figure out cell phone companies like trying to herd cats. Uh, 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 
can't believe I'm going to enjoy the joys of inside tonight. Although it's not super bad. What are we putting out here tonight? Got some asparagus? No, we got the lettuce. We're going to see if they have kitchen gadgets here. Now we got to make another stop. Uh, household gadgets. May not have them here. No, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not seeing one here. No can openers. Uh, not a can opener in the place. Can't even believe it. Oh well, we ain't gonna get a can opener tonight. Ooh, waffle maker, I bet that's junk. Oh, rice cooker. Jeez. So we're gonna have to make another stop tonight. Ugh. Oh. Coffee makers galore. That ridiculous crap over there. But, uh, no can opener. Every other bit of junk. All right, well, looking at it ain't gonna make it appear. So let's get on with it. Son of a gun, man. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure what a P-32 is. Is that like a gun I can use to open a can? Or what are we talking about on that? No, there's no electric. I don't even want to. I want an electric one anyway. Let's see if we got some mushrooms over here. Yeah, there might be. We'll check when we get over there. Let's go look at the horrors of the egg department. Ah, 
Seven ninety nine. God, oh, These egg manufacturers are in high cotton, baby. They are in the money. In the money. Uh, this one gal who was nice $3.99 for bacon. This stuff looks all fat. Well, you got to remember, guys, this is a discount outlet. It's not your standard grocery store. So, I still got yogurt I haven't eaten. So, we're going to have to stop and get another one. Caramel apple cookie. Kind of disappointing, you know. Kind of disappointing. We got to get Janet some wine too. Let's see, I don't think we need any cereal. Check the daily sugar. Twenty four percent in one cup. Honey nut checks. Honey vanilla. Grocery outlet bargain market. Hey, Patty. I wish it was happy shopping. Now I got to stop at another place. Let's check out the horrors of the meats and cheese department here. Buddy, Black Forest ham. That's actually a dollar cheaper than last time. Oh, that's the 16 ounce before they had the big boy. <sighs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Hello, Miss Jen Jen. Get some Italian blends. Oh, here's the big boy. It's the mega meat. Honey roasted turkey. Get the honey ham. 
That's a 22 ounce mega meat there guys. That's the mega meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Craig sent me that nice big block of cheese. I'm still working on that. Wonderful, wonderful. Wiped out tonight, guys. We're hurting over here. We are hurting. Hurting, hurting, hurting. Chicken tenderloins. We got drumsticks. No special. Split chicken breast. These things are enormous. Things are gigantic. Some joy juice on me. Hold on guys, I gotta bag this. green tonight guys throwing out the green tonight where in the hell are the jagging dry salami how much Basically, you're giving out free meals. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, we're going to buff for a little bit here. much I can do about the buffering. <clears throat> oh yes, the prison sauce is back, I think. Is that it? Yes! Yes! The prison sauce is back. Yes! 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 Oh, we so missed you, prison sauce. We so missed you, prison sauce. Can you imagine this crap? Let's 
sodium. Just crap. So we did get some prison sauce tonight. We lucked out there. This is not the pasta you want to buy. It's just crap. Total crap. Uh, let's see about getting Janet a nice cheap bottle of uh, Chardonnay. That's what you do with your friends, right? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Point me towards the cheap stuff. Give me that prison spaghetti sauce. Australian Chardonnay. What's that? Winemakers Reserve. Harris Parker. Let's give Janet something. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarita, that's what we call prison sauce, honey. They sell the big gallon containers to the jails. They make up the big sauce. Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. Oh, ooh, am I blue? Bombshell, what's up, baby doll? How you doing? There's a live stream in Queen. How you doing, honey? Been doing real good over there. Kicking it and taking names, honey. There we go. Back up beer. Uh, what does that mean? No, Rosie, put that back. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? And we got the bombie here tonight. What's up, Bobby? Best fix myself up a little bit. Good, I'm doing I'm doing good. It's great to see you. Happy New Year to you. You've been doing real good. Got a really good following, honey. You're really uh, you're really knocking it out of the park. Hey, Barry. The girl is doing it up. Uh, let's see. It's going to be an expensive now. Hey, Cindy. Uh, Catherine said put that back. What does she want me to get? Uh, uh, North Coast Chardonnay. All right. She probably want me to get... Right, local yokel, Cal Fresno. Oh, there's Sonoma Junction, but ooh. Yeah, well, you know, I ain't nothing, honey, but I'm really happy about the way that uh, things are going for you. Really happy. Got a nice big following there. And Keeping everybody entertained. Let's see. I don't think they have a can opener here, so we're gonna have to stop and get a can opener. Ah. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh yeah, the crap pasta. There's no way I'm buying that crap again. No way. That crap ola. Oh, 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 and I guess I'm going to need some plastic bags, okay? Yes. The fewer, the better. You guys don't sell can openers here, huh? Oh, if we did, it would be on... Yeah, I saw a house yeah, where it wasn't it was there. Out right now. After the wine sale and Christmas, we're still waiting on some more shipping of Okay. 
That's all right. I'll just run up to Safeway and grab yeah, it. Yeah, Safeway and um, CVS may have it. Yeah, CVS. CVS may have less of a line. Where's the CVS here? It's, uh, right next to Safeway. Oh, it's yeah, okay. a little bit farther down by the cluster base. Gotcha. Gotcha. to see you yes and see if we got it there. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, the night's getting longer. Uh, yeah, 8305 tonight, but I have a lot of stuff uh, here. Alright, well the quest continues unless we're going to use our teeth to open up or I'm going to use a grinder to open the can or a Saws all to open up the can. Uh, starving to death. Yeah, another metal detecting uh, goof goofball today. Here, yeah, Barry, I gotta go up the road now and I gotta get the can opener. Because uh, it's like. We're, no, we're, we're non functional at the rancho right now. Oh boy. You know, eggs were $8 tonight, right? So, you guys tell me. You guys tell me. We're going to convenience, value, and service tonight. Oh, shit. Oh. Look at these blades for... I ain't getting a chainsaw. Look at these blades for the uh, Sawzall. You could use these in the movie Saw. A hell of a job on that. Well, it's either CVS or Safeway or Big Lots. <sighs> well, what's the choice? We got Big Lots, we got Safeway, or we got CVS. We don't have a shitload of options here. So, going Big Lots, I could be walking around there for an hour. That place is like pure chaos. Pure chaos. Now we got to get over to Mendocino Avenue. Let's play.
plug back in here. I hope the uh, signal's okay. I always put my card away. I try to I try to do the right things in life. I try not to you know be that person. Dollar tree! I just don't have a dollar tree right here. Yeah, sharp knife, but I'm afraid I'll get shards in whatever I'm doing there. You know, I have pocket knife with the little can opener, like the Boy Scout style, but uh, we need to just do it upright. Yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't even dare go down to Target right now. That'd be such a zoo down there, and Target's pretty far away. What we need to do is just roll over to Mendocino Avenue here. That's what we need to do. Crap here so we can't turn right here. So, oh, they put a divider there so we can't go over there. So let's make a uh, U-turn here. That's a real Baltimore turn right there. And right over to, let's go over to Mendocino here. Now we might have a weak signal again in here, I'm just saying, so just stick with the program. If the signal goes out, I'll just have to restart on YouTube and not on, um, not on Prism tonight because it looks like Prism is kind of acting up tonight. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hello, James. KitchenAid. I think I had a KitchenAid and that's the one that blew up. Kitchen Aid. That's the one that. Uh, that's the one that went tits up. Let's see. We're on. Uh, 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 uh. We can go over to. Safeway right ahead on college. I'm not even going to screw around. I'm just going to go to uh, Safeway. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, Jen, Jen. You don't get paid enough to do that. <laughs> I think people are quite enjoying the ridiculous ridiculousness tonight, so why deprive them of that? French onion soup is delicious. I should be able to just run into Safeway, but we have a terrible signal there. Uh, you know, just too too bad of a signal at the Safeway last time. It just went totally dead there. So I'm going to hit the other Safeway up here. Oh. Uh, let's see. Well, I just hit the wrong damn ones. God. No, I, I guess I'm... Blew past it. I don't even know what the hell 
on to it. We're back over on Cleveland Avenue. That's how dumb I am. I'll just start it on the uh, uh, on the um, YouTube and skip the prism. I can actually just run down to CBS. I'm pretty sure CBS would have it. What do you guys think? CBS? I think CBS would have a good one. This uh, night's gonna. This is gonna be a hell of a long night tonight. Oh, gotta be you. It had to be you. La da da da. We're heading to CVS. It had to be you. All we're hitting is red lights tonight on the way. I'm looking for a can opener, believe it or not. Hey, Shirley, both of our can openers went tits up. So, that's it. So we need to get one, because I've got a lot of stuff I need to do tonight. I'm going to have to double time it. might lose the signal a little bit here so just hang in there I want to drive 10 miles to Roner Park or you know 8 miles to Roner Park or Eight miles. Now we got this shitty connection again. Get rid of this Todd Swift. This idiot is just in here promoting other people. Get rid of that idiot. Nothing I can do about the signal until I get to a better area. Hello, Nicole. Signal should clear up in a minute. Signal should be coming back now. There's just a couple of uh, there's just a couple dead zones around town when it comes to the signal. It's kind of a drag. But we're almost at the CVS here. But uh, we do go through some dead zones in town. But around my neighborhood, it's nice and nice and strong. So. It's about the only positive over there. Got out of town on a boat on the southern islands. Sailing 
to reach for a following sea. She was making for the trades on the outside and the downhill run to Papa Ede. Off the wind on this heading line of the Marquesas, we got native fear of a waterline. Nice we make it way in a noisy bar in Avalon, trying to call you. But on a midnight watch, I realized why twice you ran away. Think about, think about how many times I have fallen. Spirits are using me, but your voice is calling. What heaven brought you and me cannot be forgotten. Around, I have been around the world, looking for that woman girl. No, she knows love can end up, and you know it will. Southern Cross for the first time. You understand now why you came this way. Because the truth you might be running from is so small, but it's as big as the promise, the promise of a coming day. So I'm sailing for tomorrow. My dreams are a dying. And my love is an anchor tied to you, tied with a silver chain. I have my ship, and all her flags are a flying. She is all that I have left, and music is her name. Think about, think about how. tipped five dollars through super chat and you know it will And we never failed to fail. It was the easiest thing to do. You will survive being bested. Somebody fine will come along and make me forget about loving you in the Southern Cross. Dave, I believe Dave played the song. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'll get one for Blackbird too. Oh, do 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 do. Boo boo doo boo doo boo boo. Rolling in the deep, baby. Um, 
TikTok and just buy one, get one for a dollar. Come on, everybody gotta pay. Stand up, please. Hello. Yeah, I have a CVS number. Hey, that's the video. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 707-490-8111. 5134. Go to the back, please. Uh, yeah, Yeah, I'm going to put it in. Thank Would you. Would you like a receipt or a bag? No, it's okay. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Alright, well, we got that anyway. I like your mustache. I like that you like it. What the hell the guy saying? I like your boobs. That's what he said. Okay, well, we got that. Yeah, I don't know. The widget's working okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he said, I think I like that you like it. Okay, I couldn't understand what that, I couldn't understand what he said. Kind of surprised me. I like that you like me. I like that you like it. I can't think of anything but you going out of my head over you. I got a can opener and it ain't no doo doo out of my head over you. It's a night. She's got a nice rack. I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby. Do, 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 do. We've got some can openers. Yes, we do. Uh, so we got one for the bird. It's like the goat head. It's the goat head can opener company. Alright, let's see how we get the hell out of here. That was a nice song. So songs are appreciated. Go ahead, dude. You got the stop sign. I don't. There we go. 
Man, I haven't even started my night yet. Oh, wow. Right. Now we gotta go down through the hood tonight. Uh, backwards from what do you think? Dude, I found they work better and last longer. Oh yeah, okay. That's an interesting um, idea there, VW. Uh, the Goat Head Express. Like a night in, on the Goat Head Express. Hello, Judy. So, we got so far to go tonight. I feel like I'm in the weeds right now. I feel like I've been out here for hours. Picked up some food. Groceries. But, uh, man, we got a long ass way to go tonight so for those of you who are always asking me for long streams your ships probably come in tonight i'm not gonna be in that one i don't want to turn left there so i will take your right away and move right into your lane so it'll be good and uh, birds we got a backup uh, we got a backup can opener then it uh, we got two of them on the rancho these should be pretty functional I don't know what makes a good can opener I have no idea don't cut me off dude oh shit I don't want to turn here hell I'm not used to coming down this way there we go see my headlights are so poor can't see a damn thing on the road. Uh, dog gone. I go to Rio de Janeiro. Uh, yeah, what you do, Catherine, is uh, I don't know if your song is. Uh, you copy and paste the link from the YouTube uh, video that features that artist uh, being careful not to use one of the ones on our list and then you put that into the box where it says uh, paste link here look forward to look forward I'm looking f I'm looking forward to a beer yeah I got two up Robin how you doing sweetie Seattle Judy nice to see you I picked up two of them hey Maggie what's going on I picked up two of them tonight. So we'll have two. It's going to take a while to get unloaded, and then we really got to get on our horse. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be eating till like 10. I don't want to get too wolfed up on beer tonight, so. Do, do. So now we got to roll through the hood tonight. I uh, didn't want to come down this way, but that's where the CBS is. There's a hell expensive Popeyes. So we're rolling through the hood. Do 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 do. do. sounds good uh, that sounds good I'm going to have pizza sometime tonight don't know when in the heck it's going to be but it's going to be we're rolling through the hood few miles down tonight doing this stuff let me tell you we went in a really huge uh, circle here hey Thomas how are you uh, Thomas I don't think I've seen you in a little while 
But I'm glad to have the can opener. I mean, we need that, so... We're not going to use too much of the prison sauce tonight. I might open up the other thing of Prego because that seals uh, for this. Uh, oh, well, thank Bo Pace. Thank you, sweetie. Love your channel and you're an awesome cook. Well, you're going to be able to see my friends coming up a little bit, too. Um, if you're new to the channel, Bo, a lot of people have been joining lately. Uh, welcome to you. A big welcome. And uh, we're going to do some cooking now. I've got to make another lemon pie. And I need to knock out a pizza. And I'm going to go to sleep in a full belly tonight. And I don't care what's all this water out here. Did somebody break a... Looks like they maybe broke a water vein or something here. Oh, you lost your son? Thomas? Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, you've been missed here. I knew I hadn't seen you for a while. Just be careful nobody steps out on the curb here. Anybody going that way? No, I should be good this way. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss, Thomas. myself hungry. Okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing? We're pissing down our leg. Let's pull in. Right. Do what everybody else does. Just park up on the grass. Let's make sure we can turn in without hitting anybody on the sidewalk. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. I know, Catherine, you're a great supporter. Okay, let's uh, let's get you guys set in first. Take the can openers. We'll take the stick in. We got the can openers here. Power pack. Let's get you guys set up first. Yeah, it's terrible. I I don't like to hear that. guys set up first. Oh, looks like birds already asleep. It's going to be cold tonight with frost if he doesn't shut that door. Let's see. I don't see the knuckleheads around. All right, let's get you guys set up here. Woo! Man, it's already 7 o'clock. Wow, we, wow, well. Wow. It's going to be a late one tonight. Flip that around there. Okay, and let's get uh, let's get everything undone here. Wow, well, I can't believe how long that took. Oh, I didn't see that coming, guys. To be honest with you, I did not expect that tonight. Yolks go into the filling. What the hell is this so dark? There we go. We don't run the heat here, guys, so it's going to be if you're chilly. It's a chilly willy. Check out the stove still flashing. You like that? How you like that? Dethal Blackbird. Well, oh, Blackbird's out in the bed. Okay, well, good. He turned off the lights in the shine shack. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I got to get the thing of beer. We're good. 
It's a chilly willy. It's a chilly willy. All right, let's get some stuff put away. Um, hello. <laughs> oh, <do> you asshole. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got to put some stuff away. Uh, let's see. I don't feel like dealing with this chicken. I'll probably deal with that tomorrow. We got mushrooms. We're going to need that tonight. Hello, Cheryl S. Uh, chickies are all safe and locked up. Good deal. Good deal. We've got our uh, pizza doughs there. I don't know how the quality is going to be. It could be uh, lousy. We're going to let that sit out. A little bit the old stuff it could be a really funky meal tonight if I missed anybody hello okay let's see I've got some onions we got the prison sauce uh, this has had to be Refrigerator, right? Got some onions. Got some. Man, I'm I'm scared when I think of how far I got to go tonight. I'm a little uh, I'm a little unnerved right now, guys. Okay, but we do have the glorious prison pasta sauce. Bird has a stack. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm down to like one one knife. I know. I know. Oh, I know. That's why I don't give him any of the... I tell him, here's the metal plate, and when you're done, make sure you do the track. So let me get the uh, Bluetooth on just in case. All right, someone plays another song tonight. We got it on the Bluetooth. Let's make sure that's connected. I think we're good on the Bluetooth. Yes, we are. All right. Yeah, I know, Catherine, about the. Uh, right. And it's good. The kick is up, and it is good. All right, these eggs are like gold. Or as we say in China, Jinza. Jinza. It's your new word in Chinese for the day, Jinza, which is also the word, it's gold, but it also need, means sperm in Chinese, if you could believe that. Right? One, two, three, four. These egg producers are in high cotton, man. High cotton. We'll wash our hands and get the program on the way. I just heard, uh, hey Meeps, how are you? So we got a nice Faberware uh, can opener tonight, huh? That looks pretty decent. That's all right. Oh, yeah, I think you should be able to play Crosby, Stills, and that's, I think that's okay, but just, uh, Neil Young is like a no bueno. Uh, it's not, you can't enjoy it, but it won't go on the after. Nobody will be able to play it tomorrow, and if it pops up, I have to cut it off. Real quick. 
do do do. Thank you, Shemay. Take care. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Don't shoot me. I'm just a boy. Ooh, what the hell was that? That's that bottle of Chardonnay. Ooh. We shouldn't have been uh, that aggressive dropping that on the ground. Alright, luckily that held up. Ooh. Wow. Holy smokes. That's for the Janet girl tomorrow. Uh, 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 uh. She would have a fit. Let's right, close that for a minute. Hold on. Man, I need like 10 hands tonight. Do, 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 do. Put that up there. Well, we don't have much left to go in. We got the pork loin, which we can freeze. That. We got the pepperoni. I think we're pretty much unloaded. Uh, we can kind of get the shell on the road here. Uh, man, I got to pee like a racehorse. Okay. I think we're just about ready to get underway here. I think we're going to open the can of Prego tonight if we have it. If not, we have to use the prison sauce here. And it looks like we're going to have to use the prison sauce. I guess we used up that Prego. I don't know. All right. Ice cube trays to freeze fresh lemon juice in. Well, let me just... Um, Get you guys set up over here and we'll commence to get going. Get some heat on. We got the cheese for later tonight. Let me use the bathroom real quick and wash my hands and get ready to go here. To be you, I'm gonna get Burgess can over. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh. Blackbird, I got a present for you.
inside did. Let me inspect those hands. Yes, man. Uh, 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 uh. If you're gonna be handling my food. Don, there's a beautiful Charlotte. How you doing, Charlotte? That looked like a nice room that uh, you got down there at the casino. Good to see you, honey. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be a decent view. Starting out tonight. Free samples. How you doing, Don? Good to see you. Um, I think before I have beer, I'm going to have a soda real quick. Get a little something on me. We're going to do a power baking tonight. That means we're going to roll this thing out like there's no tomorrow. We're going to have everything in place that we need right here, right now. We need a little bit of salt. We need a little Christmas right this very minute. What else do we need? We need to get some butter out. I'm going to use a butter crust for this one. I guess they're worth it. We're going to use uh, half a cup of butter. I guess they're worth it. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. We got the eggs out. We got the lemons. All right, let's get the show on the road. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're going to squeeze these lemons. Now we're going to make the, uh, we're going to do the crust real quick. All right, so we're going to rewash our hands again. I'm very fastidious about clean hands when people are handling food. I don't like it when dirty fingers and all that stuff. What's up, Shirley? It's gonna be a long time till the pizza comes. It's gonna. I'm gonna be up late tonight. Oh, no, no choice about it. It is what it is. So let's get out our pot. And we're going to use um, two cups of all-purpose flour here. Let's go ahead. It is music night if you want to play a song. And I'm going to put a little sugar in it too. I like to sweeten up the uh, crust just a tad. So... We're going to start, we don't need this thing here, locking it. I've already got the pizza stone transferred from outside to into the oven, so I'm going to have a lot of control over this. We need to pre-bake the pie shell and then uh, make the filling and pour it in and call it good, okay? so. Uh, Hey Nicholas, how are you? How are you? Uh, all right. Okay, so we got our all-purpose here. Catherine, you better go take a nap. Right, let's get our uh, cups here. Let's put a little more light on for you guys. This over here. We get a little more light on the subject there. Right. Where is the full big cup measure? This is half a cup. Where do my full cup measures go? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, well, we're just going to have to make do. How did it go? So we're gonna put two full. It's gonna be about four of these babies. One, two, three. 
little under a little under four okay I like to have a little more crust and a little less in there okay I just ate an ice cream and I feel cold uh it's nice to see Charla all right so let us go ahead we're gonna need that for later so we got that in there we're gonna need our cornstarch tonight too very important thickening agents we don't want to forget that out of sight out of mind tonight and to this we're going to add a little bit of sugar just to sweeten that crust a little bit maybe one tablespoon gonna mix that around good all incorporated really well oh you're wide awake now okay uh i don't know if that's better or not is that okay guys is that enough uh is that enough light Bazelli gas candy how you doing it's gonna be a while i mean we gotta make the pie first all right so that's our top priority then we got to zest the lemons we got to squeeze the lemon but we can at least knock out the crust real quick now we're going to take our i'm just going to hit this just with the microwave for about 10 seconds just to slightly soften that just very slightly Soften that butter. We're gonna do a butter crust tonight. I don't usually do it. I think shortening makes a superior product on here. Okay. Oh, okay. How's the signal tonight? Is it okay? I might put the Wi-Fi on here. Let me see. Yeah, put that Wi-Fi on. Yeah, I'm doing pie. How you doing, Golden State? I haven't seen you. So we're going to get our our uh, pastry, our cutter here, our pastry cutter, which is really good. Signals are rocking. I like to use all-purpose flour unless I'm making a bread or pizza. Okay, I'll just cut that once. Start to work that a little bit. And of course the butter is going to stick to it, but you just got to push it through, keep the flour on it. Right. Now what I'm doing is just turning that in there, and what that's doing is busting up that uh, butter into very small little bits here. Uh, just for a little bit of good measure I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, Crisco in here just a spoon of this tonight a little bit of that in there help give a little extra crispness to this. Butter doesn't really make a crisp crust. In my opinion, other bakers may feel differently about it, but we're working that in there. Working that real good. We're breaking up that stuff into really little bits here. Keep that thing Unclogged. And what that does is it breaks it up into little pea-sized pieces of fat here between the Crisco and the butter. And then we want an even distribution of that just like that. That's just ready. Just looking just like that. Nice and shaggy looking. Shaggy! Fly out there when it's done. Uh, 
All right, now I'm going to make a well in the middle. I'm going to put a hole in the middle. Then I'm going to put some ice water in there. All right, we're going to use our measuring cup because we're going to need that later. All right, that's about all we need. Just put a little water in there. And we let that get frosty for a second. And we're going to put that right in the middle of the little well. It's going to take about three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons. And we're going to blend that up real good. We're going to move the sugar to the side. Drink some drink here while that's chilling out. All right. We're going to try to skip a refrigeration step here. Uh, hey, Flan, how are you? Uh, so welcome in everybody to Inside Kitchen Stadium tonight. And we're going to pour two tablespoons right in the middle. I'm going to use my hands and turn it and work the flour from the outside to the inside. We want an even distribution of the ice water here and it has to be ice water because we don't want the butter or the fats to melt here okay very important another couple tablespoons there i'm just working from the outside see my hands are like dry they're not getting hit at all with the moisture but little by little this is starting to come together now Keep working that together. Keep adding some more until we get exactly the consistency we want. Old school pie making here tonight, folks. Old school pie making. And we still got to knock out a pizza tonight. If that ain't a blip, I don't know what it is. So but oh can we have a longer stream? Well your ship has come in tonight. We're already two hours plus into this baby and I don't see any finished product yet. It's starting to get a little nice and moist now. See the way that's getting all shaggy looking. Hey falling, how are you? Good to see you. I gotta get an overhead camera set up for the future. Alright, I think one more little shot should do it. I think that'll do it. One more little shot. We don't want to see any flower particles here, okay? We want to keep this baby really cold here. Alright. Shot. All right. And then I'm going to turn it out on the counter. I'm letting the eggs warm up to uh, as close to room temperature as time's going to permit here. And I'm going to dump this out on the counter now. You can see how clean that bowl is. And I'm just going to work this. I'm not going to overwork it because it'll be tough. Work this a bit. You'll see bits of butter in it and stuff. That's okay. That's what you want. That's what's going to promote flakiness. All right. I'm just quickly working that so we don't melt the uh, fats here. Okay. All right, that looks pretty darn good. All right. Okay. Roll that around a little bit. Clean up the counter. Good, we're going to blow that into a little bit of a disc. Should really wrap that. I guess I'll put that in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Just to kind of set for a little bit. And while that's in there for about 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and 
We'll uh, squeeze. We'll zest the lemons. That looks really nice, that disc right there. That's probably going to be pretty good. Right there. Uh, sit that in to just chill out. And then we're going to roll that baby out. Right, so we can use our... This thing's really nice to have. It's called a bench scraper. And you really need this if you're going to be making pastry and things like that. It helps keep the work surface very, very clean. Just like that. Alright. Set that aside, wash our hands here, and then we're going to zest these lemons. Never let any dough go down your drain, okay? I said never use it, never use the disposal. Like the plumber told me, man, that's 50% of my pay right there. Unclogging drains. Yeah, it's called a bench scraper. They actually call it a bench scraper as opposed to um, with pizza, you use a peel. Like a P E E L, I think it's called. All right, let's go ahead and uh, wash this bowl out real quick. And we'll rinse our. Rinse our lemons out. Wash our lemons off here. And uh, we're going to zest these babies. Zest is really where you get the flavor here. Yeah, well, you shouldn't use a disposal. And if you do, you should make sure to pour a big, biggest pot you can boil of hot water down there every single month. All right, so let's get a uh, let's get a little bowl. Let's get a big bowl here, and let's go ahead and zest these uh, zest these lemons. I don't use a zester; I just use a I just use a box grater. Uh, uh, uh. This is where all the flavor really is. This is what really makes the pie. So we zest them and then we squeeze the juices out. The vital juices. As they said in Dr. Strangelove. You need the vital juices. Right. Remember that? The vital juices. <clears throat> so I'm still tickled pink that Amanda went to the Barry Manilow concert and she said that uh, Barry's still kicking it out good. Oy vey, he must be living right. She said he had plenty of energy and A lot of energy. I love lemon. Lemon is such a strong, bold flavor. It's not like orange, which is very insipid. Very few people bake with orange.
Get all that beautiful zest right there. All that beautiful zest. All right, that's what really makes the pie. I think the concert was awesome, right? For those of you just observing, I'm just suggesting now. Just away. So I got a good solid two tablespoons of uh, zest here, and that's a plenty. Nice thing, lemon is naturally antiseptic anyway. Uh, all right, got there. Now we're going to go ahead and juice these uh, lemons, and we're going to need about three quarters of a cup of uh, juice. And because the boss and Janet like things sweet, we're going to use a full cup of sugar. Normally, I reduce that. We're going to need the pie weight too tonight. We need the whole arsenal. All right. But it is what it is. All right. Here we go. Slice these babies in half. I think I'm actually going to uh, put this juice into here so it's easier for me to measure. Right, and I'm looking for three quarters of a cup of our wonderful juice here. Yes, here's my bread knife, Cheryl. Slice these homegrown Meyer lemons, baby. All right, we might that might be enough. I don't know. Homegrown, baby. These are so big, and they kick out so much juice. Learn to love it, Cheryl S. Learn to love it. All right. Squeezing that. Yeah, this should be about the perfect amount. And this keeps the seeds from going in, which is perfect. And you know I can't smile. This is called power baking tonight. We're just kicking it out here. We are just kicking it out. One more. I have to put that that way. And I think that takes us right up to the uh, three, right up to three quarters of a cup there, which is perfect. I got so many lemons. So many lemons. Alright, that's perfect. So we got that's ready to go. We got the zest there. Let's clear this off. Clear that off. Ooh. Now we're gonna separate our eggs, and if you're not good at this. Don't do it because if you get one bit of egg yolk into the into the whites, it'll never turn into a meringue, all right? So this needs to be done skillfully. All right. We put our whites in here and we put our yolks in here. That's going to go right through the fingers just like that. So please make sure your hands are clean. 
If you're not good at uh, cracking eggs, they do have something called an egg separator. All right, get that joy juice down there. That's number two. We want perfectly clear whites here. All right. <clears throat> And don't forget, it is music night tonight. Great way to support the channel. All right, there's number three. Here comes number four. Right, you can tell I've done this a few times. And here comes number five. All right. Perfecto. And we've got absolutely no yolk about it. There is not the littlest bit. No, I don't save the lemons. I save the juice. I've zested them. And that's the way we do it. All right. But you can become quite skilled at uh, egg separation. Just the number one trick is get them to room temperature. Do not try to do it with cold eggs because they really tend to not separate as easily. Okay. That's a really huge tip if you're going to be... Um, do an added baking because we're going to need five yolks and I guess we're going to make a meringue. I guess that's what we're going to do. All right. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I think that's what we're going to do. So we're in pretty good shape here. We got our egg yolks here. So I think we're ready to roll out the pie dough. That should be nice and ready to go now. So let's make sure that's all really dry. And we'll get on with uh, rolling out the dough. Right. I took time this afternoon to really make sure that the uh, counter was really pristine and very dry here. Yes, you could make lemon marmalade. That's why I have a Seville orange tree, because you need sour oranges to make true British marmalade. Orange marmalade, you don't use sweet oranges for that. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Here we go, this has been refrigerated a little bit. Let's go ahead and roll this out. We got plenty of flour. Let's keep the top off this in case we need some more. All right, we're gonna squeeze that disc out. Now we're gonna turn it a little bit. Make sure we always keep a nice flour surface on the bottom. All right, let's get our rolling pin. All right, All right. and let's go to town here. You can actually see the butter bits in the uh, in the crust. I'm gonna bring you over so you guys can see this. This is important. All right. See the butter bits in here. That's that's the way you did it. That's the way you do it. Very important. Okay, that's the way you do it, just like that. Well, all right, see that? That's important. That means that you are on the path to glory right here. I'll put a little bit on top. We're going to 
continue to roll this baby out. to roll that out sliding it around a little bit to keep it from sticking I see that All right. I want to spray my pie pan it also helped the oil will also help the bottom get nice and brown and we're going to start the oven at 450. I like high temperature baking. I'm not one of these 350. Alright, there we go. Let's put our lighting fan on. Let that start to heat up. Alright. And that looks uh, that looks beautiful right there. And I think that that's going to fit that pan beautifully. Alright, let's hit that. That should be perfecto. Alright, we're going to sit this here. And this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to gather this up on the rolling pin here. Just like so, we're going to drop that baby right on down. Don't pull it, don't let it pull. Just real easy. Lift it up so it goes down. Really easy. Really smooth. All right. Don't force it. You don't want any thin spots here. All right. Now we're going to take our scissors. We're going to cut our excess. Keep that on the side in case we need it. We need enough to do a nice fluting around the edge and make it look pretty. Okay. That's pretty good over here, I think. That's pretty uniform right there. It's a little bit here. And I have any extra if I need it. But there we go. Shift that over that way. That looks perfect. Thin that out a little bit. At the edge, I'm just working it in. Okay. Anything that appears to be too much. I'm just cutting her back some. All right. We don't need we don't need the ultra thick crust. Although this pastry crust should be delicious. What the hell was that? What the hell is this? That thing just suddenly went on like that. All right, now we're going to fold the outer edge underneath. We're going to drop it down behind the back of the pie side. And we're going to create that pretty fluted edge. Okay. Like so. The way I've dropped all that down at the edge. All right. Now I'm going to work that to the edge. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to work our magic on it. And give a nice fluted edge. I don't want any super thick spots on this baby. All right. to get your hands in here and do the job. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a nice decorative edge on this. 
pushing over to the side, thumb and two fingers. Do that here. And then it's going to go back in the freezer because we need to get this set before we put it in the oven, okay? How nice does that look? All right. And while we have it, we're going to use a fork and we're going to dock the bottom of the pie. Crust. And that'll keep it from uh, rising. All right. And we're going to pop that baby. I paid $7.99 for eggs today. Sit this in there. And we're going to let that sit in there for about 15 minutes or so, okay? And we can clean up a little bit, but I'm very happy about the way that that uh, crust looks. You can make little pastry cookies if you want to add this. I don't have time to do all that. So, thank you, Golden State. The pizza dough is already made. It's already sitting out warming up. It was a leftover from last time. All right. Important thing is we clean as we go. That way we never have a big ass mess at the end of the night. We'll get our bench scraper going here. With uh, making pies and things, it's all about practice, practice, practice. You find very few people these days are willing to tackle pie crust. They feel like it's too, too hard to do. We don't need that lemon. They feel like it's too challenging. But it's like anything else. It's just practice, practice, practice. Right. Clean that up a little bit. All right. Oh. And that'll be ready for later to roll out the uh, pizza dough. Uh, let's see, we can combine our stuff in here. We use one cup of water too. And that is our uh, mixture there. And we're going to put in one cup of sugar and we're going to put in a quarter of a cup of uh, cornstarch. How's my cup? Let's see, I don't got my good quarter cup. Yeah, I'm really cramped in here, but I'm used to doing it. just the right amount of corn starts for a nice firm but not ridiculously firm thing so it is music night tonight guys anybody want to play music or support the channel it's a great way um, to share the love here All right, we're gonna put a cup of sugar in here too I don't know where to go. Let's see this is a third cup point. Let's see, this is one third of a cup, so one, because it's the boss and Janet, we got to make this baby sweet. Okay. All right, that 
that's that. And that's basically the whole the whole shooting match there. And we can just work that together with the whisk real good. And then we'll transfer that to a pot. We'll heat that up and that'll be our delicious filling. That beautiful color. Yeah, look at that. Oh, damn, that's going to be a knockout. That is going to be a knockout. Okay. Golden State, you might think it mucks things up, but I need it for support on the channel, okay? If you want to make a donation and support, that would be all. Awesome. All right, but please don't... Uh, Please don't discourage other people from supporting the channel, okay? It's only one night a week. And we've had one song tonight. All right, please. All right. All right, there we go. Okay, that's ready to go. We're not going to need our sugar anymore. That's beautiful. 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 Now we're going to need some foil. We're going to need to line the, the uh, crust and use our pie weights. If you don't know what pie weights are, they help to um, uh, hold the sides of the pie up while it's baking. Okay, but we do try to get it as cold as possible first in the, uh, in the refrigerator, in the freezer. Ideally, you would use a frozen shell, right? Like you would get at the store, a frozen pie crust. That'd be the best way to do it. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll make the meringue later too. We have to make sure that our mixing bowl is just meticulously clean here. Can't have any egg yolk or anything. Wash a few things. Clean this off. And you know what? And the we're going to need this bench scraper. You're going to need that for later on. I'm going to wait about five more minutes. We can transfer this, what's going to be the filling. Let's make some room here. See, we're going to transfer the, uh, good night Shirley, we're going to transfer the uh, filling to the pot here. All right. All that zest and everything in there. That's going to be wonderful. We don't need this anymore. Or its purpose that baby so yeah I'm very confined in this kitchen area very confined but I guess I get used to it oh yeah let me make let me start the widget just to be sure so the widget is working all right we got the volume up uh, I've checked the widget is good We got the volume all the way up. The widget is good. All right. The widget is rocking. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. All right. So.
So we can dry this out. This will be our bowl. This will be our bowl for meringue tonight. All right, we got to make sure there's no oil, no grease, no fats in there whatsoever, or else it'll never turn into a meringue. You could whip it until the uh, Armageddon, and it wouldn't would not produce a meringue. All right, that's just the way it goes. Put the eggs in. Egg whites, let's clean this out. Now when I run the mixture, it's going to make a little bit of noise. I might fire up the KitchenAid. I don't usually bring that into action. I got a KitchenAid hand mixer. But because we're having a good show tonight, we might get Mil Michael Jackson, 99 pence. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, the blue bowl is amazing. I got a great deal years ago at the store. I couldn't believe it. Thank you, Michael Jackson. Thank you. Uh, oh. No, I think the regular credit cards work okay. It's just... What country are you in, Bonnie? And if you want to, you can always just donate to the channel. Collect and use Pyrex. Uh, yeah, because the, uh, the widget is functioning, so... Should we get the, uh, we got to start baking this pie crust now. All right. Oh, oh. Uh, ooh, that baby is nice and firm now. Nice and firm. So we're going to take a piece of foil here. We're going to line the bottom of it, push it up on the sides, and what this does is for the first 20 minutes with the pie weight pin, it assures that the sides aren't going to collapse down. Okay, just like so. And the pie weights are in. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, Alan. I mean, you're a great supporter of the channel. I appreciate it. Right in she goes. For an initial 15 minutes. Ooh. All right. Somebody can give me 15 minutes on the timer. I would appreciate it. We'll do a 15 minutes. Bonnie, you can always support the channel through regular Super Chats or um, PayPal or any of them. All right, let's go ahead. We don't need this anymore. I'm trying to put a few things away here. I haven't really used this to make... Uh, We missed that really good. I think we're going to set up the big um, KitchenAid over here tonight. I need to clean this really well. This is the uh, KitchenAid 600 Professional. This is uh, restaurant grade <coughs> KitchenAid here. Let's go ahead and pour that into there. Okay. 
Look at all that. Let's clean this down. And then let's set up, let's bring the KitchenAid over to this side. Janet loves her KitchenAid. She, was, she said she made like 12 dozen batches of cookies or something so they're called pie weights yeah it's very important all right hello boss making your pie right. i got the highest model that they sell to me in the morning sun i'll be sitting in the evening car watching the ships roll in then I watch you go away. Oh, sitting on the dock in the bay, watching the tide go away. Ooh, sitting on the dock in the bay. Turn it up a little bit. I think it's up as high as it goes. I left yeah. my home in Georgia. That's as high as it goes, babe. Look like nothing's gonna come that way. So I'm just gonna sit on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Mexican vanilla. Alright, thank you. That was a wonderful tune. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Excellent day. Thank you. I love the KitchenAid Pro. It's a 600 series. Uh, yeah, I always buy institutional quantities of things when I go to the restaurant supply. It's cheaper. We can start busting that yoke a little bit. Yeah, I love the KitchenAid 600. Because it's rare, it's very rare that they put it on special four years ago. We're just starting out busting that yoke. I'm going to put a little bit of cream of tartar, which is going to hasten. development of the uh, meringue here, okay? Uh, yeah, bigger is cheaper. I have a lifetime supply of uh, cream of tartar. Love it. Learn to love it, Cheryl S. Learn to love it. So the KitchenAid Pro is wonderful. This is the 
Pro Series here. Oh, oh, oh. Prima Tartar never expires. Oh, 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 oh. Never expires. That's my home in Georgia. Ready for the third division. It has an infinite shelf life. Carter is Carter. All it is is a scraping from a wine barrel. That's about perfect right there. You don't want it too sweet. Everything is about balance. Right? So we got something that's basically good to go right there. Alright, do you see how fast that came together? And that is just the perfect sweetness. I can I can take that up a notch when it comes time. So we gotta slam that filling on top of the we gotta slam that meringue on top of the hot filling. And that way, we'll have, we'll have much less weeping. If you put it on cold, you're going to have weeping. Got to throw that, slam that filling on when it is like uh, hot, hot, hot. Piping hot. It also sterilizes the egg whites for safety. It's very important that the egg whites be sterilized too. And that heat from below... When we do the mixture, that's what's going to sterilize those egg whites and make them safe for consumption. Otherwise, you can do the Italian meringue, pour the liquid uh, sugar syrup in slowly as the volume builds, and that sanitizes the uh, egg whites too. But since that's a royal pain in the ass, I don't really do that. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Right, we got a beautiful meringue. And how do we know a good meringue? Nice stiff peaks, okay? That's what makes that's what makes a good meringue, okay? 
Don't make it too sweet. Please. Please. Don't make it too sweet. Alright. All about balance. Alright. Uh, there we go. Alright. All about balance. We're going to pour our pie weights into here. We're close to finishing this pie. Now, when you pour the when you pour the hot filling in, if you want to prevent the film from forming on top of the lemon filling, once you pour the hot filling in, and we stir the two tablespoons of butter in to smooth it a bit, once it's past the set point. You want to put some plastic cling wrap on top of it, okay? And do not remove the cling wrap until you're ready to, uh, you know, uh, well, tonight we're not doing a lemon pie. We're doing a lemon meringue. But if you were just doing an open-faced lemon pie, you would put some of this stretch cling film on it, and that would keep that from uh, forming on top, okay? Oh, oh. very important. Also, do not over whip the uh, egg whites or they start to become rubbery. Yeah, this is for Janet and the boss, yes. Because I didn't bring one at Christmas because I texted Janet a couple days before and I said, uh, what can I bring? And she said, just bring whatever you're drinking. And then I got to the house and she's like, where's the pie? All right, like Claire on where's the beef? Right. Yeah, the chips are important there because you don't want to fill them. That goes the same for a chocolate cream pie, a coconut cream pie, any cream pie that you're going to pour into a baked shell. You make absolutely positively that you put a plastic cling wrap on top of it, okay? And you'll never have that nasty film, okay? Very, very important. Right. Man, I'm starving. Eight, ten. I've only had one beer. Pretty amazing, guys. Pretty amazing. We've had a popping chat tonight, too. We've had a lot of people in the chat. Thank you to my moderators. And if you guys want to do super chats and no music or PayPal or um, um, Cash App, that's appreciated very much, too. Okay? Very, very much. I think we're coming on. What do we got, Cheryl? How many more minutes do we got here for this? Time's up, okay. Let's pull this out, dump our pie weights. Be very careful handling this. It's going to be super hot. These ceramic pie weights are dangerous, okay? Be careful. Don't use second-rate aluminum foil. Okay, we're going to sit this here. Because this is baked some now, it should hold its shape as we finish baking it here, okay? Just slowly... If you went on the stove, that's okay. Just let them cool off, it ain't going to hurt anyone. We're going to sit that aside. And the ones that went on the stove, we just let them... Now this, this shell goes back in the oven because this will hold its, uh, its this will hold its shape now. It's not going to collapse. All right. All right. We're going to let that go at least 15 more minutes till that gets a really nice golden brown. Thank you, Michelle. Rock on. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your kind donation. Thank you very much. We should get a little bump, but a bump, bump, bum. Thank you, sweetie. That's so kind of you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, Golden State, the way you try to prevent your meringue from weeping is you've got to try to put it on filling that is just finished. <laughs>
reaching the set point. Michelle Norton tipped five dollars through Super Chat. Rock on. Thank you, Michelle. If you put meringue on top of filling, it's anything except boiling hot and dangerously hot. Number one, you're not sterilizing it. And number two, you're going to have a weeping. You're going to have some weeping with the meringue pie, but you're going to have less weeping. If you put the meringue filling, meringue right on top of the piping hot filling like a symphony. It's got to be done like a ballet. All right. I'm readying two tablespoons of sugar. When this reaches the set point, I put two tablespoons of uh, butter in. It's going to smooth this, take a little bit of the sharp edge of citric off of it. It's going to smooth that down a little bit. So I got two tablespoons there that I'm going to be throwing in when it reaches, when it reaches the set points. All right. What the hell there? Uh, does anyone have any advice on pet loss grief? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know Golden State. No guarantees, but it seems to work for me, okay? You're going to always have a little bit of weeping on a lemon meringue pie. Um, it's inevitable. Mine's going to sit out tonight on the counter. Um, you know, it's going to be, it should be delivered at room temperature. Uh, it should be good for 36 hours or so. It's all cooked out. Everything's all cooked out, the filling. Uh, it's is definitely a pie you want to serve the first time at room temperature, and then you want to refrigerate it and then serve it up uh, cold. And it's, it's very delicious. All right. In my opinion, it's the uh, it's the it's the queen of pies. Coconut cream and chocolate cream, lemon meringue, cherry pie, blueberry pie. But the lemon meringue stands above all. It looks good, and it's amazing. All right. Okay. We'll keep that just we'll keep that just sort of percolating along for a few minutes. What we do not want is we sure as hell do not want a rubbery um, meringue. All right, and the more you beat eggs, the more rubbery they're going to get. Okay, dealing with the loss of a pet is brutal. I remember when I had to put Wolfie down here, and thank God Missy Jen was here. She was the one that was brave enough to be there when they administered the shot. I couldn't do it. Hell no. And I said, Jen, you're going to have to be in there. I'm not going to be able to take it. She did it, and then two months later... She had to put Mandy down her dog. So she, uh, ooh, and I hate to think when Georgie goes, the little pug, oh, man. Georgie's like 12 years old. So little dogs live longer, but, uh, yeah, we love you, Ashley. Uh, it's okay to grieve your loss, you know. It's not easy to deal with pets or Pets give more unconditional love than people a lot of times, right? They're not going to sit there and argue with you. We love you, Ashley. We understand. I was in tears. I couldn't. You can see the video on June 20th, my birthday. The back of driving the Wolfie on my lap, driving to the, you know, the video. We had to put Wolfie down today. It's the knucklehead! Baby tiger! Baby tiger doesn't know which way to go. Not fun to lose a pet. To lose a pet is absolutely brutal. 
have some wine. Red, red wine. Yeah, that meringue is beautiful. You know, the KitchenAid just does it so easy. It's almost embarrassing. It's almost embarrassing how simple that is. Taking a peek. That's really looking good. We don't want to over bake. We want a nice soft. We want a little bit of brown, but we want to make sure it slices nice and easy here, okay? Very, very important. So it's looking good in there. Yeah, we love you, Ashley. I mean, uh, we've been there. We've done that. You know, I had a lot of guilt for a few years after I put Wolfie down because if you look at my earliest videos of renovating the Rancho in my five-year journey of renovating the Rancho, you'll see Wolfie, a, a mix between a Malamute and a Shepherd. And when I was engrossed in 2011, 2012, and just when I began my YouTube channel in 2013, Wolfie and Bobby, that was all I had. And Wolfie was a lot more dependable than Bobby was. And, uh, you know, I always felt bad because Wolfie was neglected. I poured my heart and soul into every bit of drywall was stripped off of here. Every bit of plumbing, every bit of electrical was rewound. And, and I, didn't have, I didn't have time for the dog at all. All right. Yeah, you make your own pizza gas can and you're not going to have any regret on that. But I'm telling you guys, and I've told people in the channel many times the guilt that I've had because I did not give Wolfie the attention that he uh, deserved here, okay? Uh, right? Well, Ed, I'm not going to go there, okay? I mean, I'm not going to, you know, what happens if Zoe dies? I mean, it's going to be a terrible day, okay? I mean, there's just, it is what it is. Right? Um, I'm just really happy that they're dog people. I thought the boss was a fish guy, and, you know, and then one day they get a dog. And, right? I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, some pizzerias will sell you the dough. I got this is probably going to taste like hell tonight. Thank you, Sarita. Two ninety nine super sticker. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so I, I always felt guilty about, um, you know, I didn't give Wolfie the time and attention. Yeah, I would take him out on the afternoon chooch, and uh, all the chooches were recorded at that time. But I felt very, very guilty. That dog did not get my best. There's no doubt about it. Hey Savannah, thank you Sarita. Sarita G tip two dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. Thank you, sweetie. Dock that again. You know, I I felt bad about that. Really bad. It was sad, Ron. I mean, I still feel regret. I feel sad. But I, you know, I can't go back in time. I can't change it. But I thought to myself, I'm not going to have a dog again until I'm homesteading and I'm home like 80% of the time, 90% of the time. Maybe I'm someplace in winter and maybe I'm here in the summer. Maybe I'm not. But I'm not going to take a dog on the road with me. Uh, I'm not going to do it, Okay. And I, I have a lot, yeah, I know Wolfie, but you know, I feel sad. I, I just, we can, we're allowed to have regret. And I had a lot of regret, but I've always shared that with everybody on YouTube and said, you know, I'm a son of a bitch for not treating Wolfie better. And I own that. I own that. Yeah, he wanted to be with me, but I tell you what. I feel regretful, Cheryl, because he deserved much more attention. I got so engrossed with this place because I was so over my head with the termite damage and all new electrical, all new plumbing, uh, flooring. 
everything. It's just everything was screwed up. Windows, Bobby and I carrying big windows for the for the front. Jesus. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, they're laying belly up and Bobby was Bobby'd always come over. Wolfie really loved Bobby. Alright, that pie look that shell's looking pretty good. We got about five more minutes and that baby's gonna come out. Uh you know, but Cheryl, I just uh, I still feel bad about that to this day. That dog, that dog deserved so much better. But when I went out on my own, the dog had to come with me. But it was, uh, you know, brutal, brutal. I couldn't be there at the end. Well, I feel sorry for you too, Ashley. I mean, I'm sure you gave your dog 150% of your attention. You don't have to bear that guilt in your mind of um, watching Choo Choo to train with you. Yeah, that's right. And I was every single day. Well, Dave, that's not the worst thing in the world to understand that you can't properly take care of a pet. You know, let's face it, Wolfie was in the way a lot. You know, I'm like, you know, okay, I'm, you know, I'm gut in the bathroom. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm cutting up bathtubs and Jen's like flying apart. And, uh, he pees wherever he wants. I have wee wee pads. Okay, wine con, that's fine. I mean, we had a dog that had, uh, I don't know what you call it, Addison's disease or whatever you know Mandy you know it is what it is but I never tried to hide it I always came out and, and owned it I'm gonna be okay uh, Dave pizza's coming Sarita we're making the we gotta finish this pie Okay, that shell is ready to go. Let's pull it out. And let's let's finish the deed here. Let's knock off and finish this pie. Alright, we got one of the biggest chats we've had. Ow. Look at how beautiful that looks. Alright, that's beautiful. It's gonna be soft. Okay, that's gonna go down a little bit as it cools. That's beautiful there. That's going to slice nice. It's going to taste nice. Okay, the next thing we got to do now is we got to get the filling. We got the meringue ready to slam on top. So this has got to be like a, this is where the symphony comes in. This has to be a well orchestrated event here. We bring the filling up to the set point where it's going to gel when it cools. Pour it in here after we put in our two tablespoons of butter to smooth it out and take the edge off the citrus a little bit. We're going to immediately slam the meringue on top of that. Okay, we're not going to let it cool down. It's a, this, this hot filling is going to sanitize and make the eggs safe. Okay, so I'm going to give another glass of I want to make sure that that is good to go right there. Right, I'm going to remove this. Too many people mess up meringue. Right, because they get egg yolks in it, they don't separate the egg whites properly, they don't have cream of tartar and all that. All right, I'm going to sit this over here now, and we're going to take and get our filling going here. All right. And we're almost going to continuously stir that. Okay, very, very important. Uh, pet bird, though. Yeah, the Boston Janet, they love their birds. You know, 
itchy and scratchy are wonderful. They're just uh, wonderful birds. Zoe's wonderful. I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, Zoe's happy to see me. That took two years. Two years till Zoe was comfortable with me. I don't know what the hell that is. Put that damn thing out there. Uh, it took two years. Thank you, Nicholas. Just because. Thank you. Hey, Jody. No problem, honey. You're not required to be here, but you're appreciated when you're here. All right, we're gonna do another uh, shorty bit tonight too. So we Nicholas Wakely Books tipped five dollars through Super Chat, just because. Thank you. Boy, the support is really appreciated. When this is done, I'm going to take a second and give the knuckleheads a treat outside. You should not walk away. This thing should be continuously stirred. Do not let this filling burn. You'll reach the set point when you start to see bubbles coming up and breaking on the surface, okay? Big ones. And you see steam coming up. You gotta understand what the set point is. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Much fun as we've ever had with our clothes on tonight. And I'm inside, and I'm comfortable. Where are the cat? They're right out on the back deck. I'm going to... Uh, no, I can't have them in the house. No. Nope. Nope. I don't have that much ownership there, Dave. So, I'm sorry. They already pissed on Blackbird's bed, so... I'm not down with that whole deal. All right. Be ready here. I got the butter ready to go to go in. No, I'm not that chummy. Okay, I take care of them. I like them. But uh, they're not going to be in the house. They're waiting on the back porch patiently for me to give some treats tonight. I'll show you guys once we slam this filling in. And notice that I'm not just letting it sit here. I'm continuously stirring this. There's no chance of burning. Why waste a cup of sugar, five egg yolks, cornstarch, okay? If you're not going to take the time to really cook it properly, I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. All right. Well, I'm not going to ever hurt an animal. But I'm just saying, I'd be very disappointed. I'm not going to let them in the house. One day they came in and they were throwing themselves at the window. I did a video on it. Yeah, that was weird. You know, that was weird. All right. We're still rising in temperature here. We're getting close to the set point, but we're not there yet. We're just reaching it right now. Boom. I can tell by stirring it, it got thick. In goes the butter. All right. I can just tell it hit the set point. I've turned off the heat. I'm putting the butter in now. And I'm stirring it. Okay. That's just perfect. That filling is absolutely perfect. All right, in the, in she goes. Right into the pie shell. There ain't gonna be no sitting around. 20 minutes later, we come back and put the meringue on. That meringue is gonna sanitize this and make this freaking delicious. This filling is just going to sanitize. Mm. Oh, wow. That is so damn good. All right, here comes the meringue. Right on top. 
Be bold. Don't be afraid. It ain't going to bite you. All right, center it up first. And then we're going to seal the edges. All right. Working from the center, we got a mile high. Here, and what I'm doing is just working that over and sealing the edges. Right over to the side of the crust. All right, take your time. This is sanitizing as it's going now. All right. There she goes. All right. All right, make sure it's all sealed all the way over. We don't want any vent holes. Nothing like that. Now what's happening is that heat from below is sanitizing those egg whites now and making them safe. Okay, now we're going to do our artistic part here by doing our little peaks and valleys. Okay? But do make sure that the side's sealed, alright? Alright. Mm. Damn, that's good. It is. All right. There's where we stand right now. Are we finished yet? No. Back into the oven she goes. All right. This is like a well orchestrated sim. All right, it's got to be done the right way. Now you need to really monitor this when you put it back in the oven. If you put it in the oven and you walk away for 15 minutes, you could have a house fire on your hands. Or a destroyed lemon meringue pot. Back she goes. We're going to give an initial five minutes. And what we're looking for is golden brown. So, I'm going to really quickly wash some stuff. Alright, ooh, that filling is good. Oh, wow, I can't wait to have this tomorrow. Uh, so, the Janet girl knows it's coming. And I think she's a little excited. I don't like to have a mess at the end of the night because I still haven't even eaten dinner. I got a roll out of pizza. And that pizza dough ain't looking real good. I'm just saying that. That dough looks a little road hard and put away wet. Catherine says, save a piece of that for me, Rosie. <laughs> this girl can bake an ass lemon meringue pie, man. You better believe it. I love to bake. This KitchenAid did beautifully tonight. Uh, wipe the can a little bit. KitchenAid professional. Which means it costs more, but it lasts longest. All right, delicious. Deliscable. All right, sure, Les, learn to love it, honey. Learn to love it. All right. Learn to love it, sure, Les. Learn to love it. Every home chef, every baker in particular, bread baker, pie maker, pastry maker, absolutely, positively needs to have a kitchen aid mixer. In my opinion, you may not agree, but it's my opinion. Back over here. 
I don't know any serious chef or baker that does not have a kitchen aid. And basically, we're all pretty much cleaned up tonight. We still got to make dinner. Uh, sure, unless you want to be ashamed of yourself. All right, there we go. Oh, that's looking, that's already starting to brown. So, what are we going to sit this baby on? Sit this on this rack. Initially, on the stove, because I'm going to need room to operate. I don't have a big kitchen here. I feel like I'm in a galley on a ship trying to do gourmet food. Uh, sure, unless you want to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, it's the right tools. That's exactly right. Yeah, Bosch is good too. I got a Bosch dishwasher. I got that because it was the best, quietest, and best rated when I got it in 2012, 13. All right, there's our nasty pizza dough. Oh, man, God Almighty. <laughs> oh, girl, we're going to keep the heat on. Ah. Oh, I'm going to turn, rotate a little bit. Oh, Amanda, you are unbelievable. We didn't show one of them. Woo! Pie waits away. If you're a serious baker, you've got to invest in pie weights too. Okay? Wow, that's a hell of a wedding gift. Uh, uh, yeah, bird dude, I have no concept of what you're talking. What did you do for him, bird dude? Tell the chat what you did for Blackbird for his birthday. You know what the answer is? Nun, nunca. Nada. Nothing. And you tell other people what they should do for somebody's birthday? I took him out for a $50 steak dinner. If you give him $50 tomorrow, we'll be even. Uh, don't sit there and complain about other people. Right? It's not what you can do for what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Janet Fields, we're letting that be like a good nation's pie, honey. We need that to be like golden honey because the look on Janet's face when I came in at Christmas time she's like oh uh, where's the pie what pie I thought you were bringing a pie right oh so we'll see what that bird dude does for uh, Blackbird's birthday. This should be interesting. Uh, you didn't hit a nerve, bird dude. You just found out that uh, what you do and what you believe are two different things. If you really cared about Blackbird, you would give a donation yourself. But I'm almost 100% certain that you would never do that. But yet you would talk about what other people did. 
for the birthday. But it's 2023, so I expect that. Right? Didn't hurt, hit a nerve with me, but you just got exposed to somebody that says, you do this, but I won't do anything. Right? You know, let your conscience be your guide, bro. Let your conscience be your guide. Some people are famous for telling other people what they should do. We'll show you the knuckleheads in a minute. We're just finishing up the pie. Ugh. So I always call out people that tell me I don't do enough for people. Oh, that's glorious looking. All right, let's carefully get this baby out. Right, when they don't do anything for anybody. And they never would, and they never, they never would. Right? But he's always hanging in Blackbird's chat, and yet he'll tell other people what they should do. Now look at that. Now tell me what the hell is wrong with that. Look at that. Yeah, I even gave him a can opener tonight. Look at that. Isn't that nice health? Anybody can bake. Anybody can bake. Yeah, we're going to be eating that tomorrow, Janet. I'm going to be very proud to see Janet tomorrow, not only to treat them to a nice dinner for everything that Janet and the boss have done for me, but I told you the last two years were going to be different than they are. So we'll let that cool off tonight. I don't know about a lot of wisdom, Alan. I just, I don't like to be called out by people that don't do anything to... They'll sit there on live streams and then have the gall to tell everybody else what they should do. When they've had hours and hours and hours of enjoyment. I'm going to do a quick video for shorties. And then we'll get on to the uh, main event here. Nothing's too good for my friends. All right, as much as they've done for me. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, just finished making a lemon meringue pie this evening in the kitchen. It's going to be great eating. Stay tuned. Make sure you follow. Let's try that again. Made a nice lemon meringue pie tonight in a rancho kitchen. I'm going to be serving this to my friends, the boss, and Janet tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed be cutting it tomorrow at their house. All right, perfecto. All right. All right, let's get on with the show. Yeah, I don't think I could do anything more for Bird than I'm already doing now. It's been a lot of rent that's been waived over time. And, right, that's meaningful shit that actually helps people's life. All right, here we go. Let's Spray this down. All right, let's get on with part two tonight, which is dinner. Uh, oh, your pie was you, you baked some good stuff, Janet. Bullshit. Your forte is cooking uh, entrees in the main event. Your chicken has no match. All right, your barbecue. The hell did she do? What was the peak, Lance? It was Christmas of 2021. And they made prime rib. 
that in my lifetime it was probably the very best thing that I ate. Now it was expensive as hell. Do I feel bad about the money they spent? Yeah, but I'm saying it was good. You know, Janet can do something I've never been able to do is make sunny side up, sunny side up eggs. Right? So, no, Janet, don't sell yourself short when it comes to uh, cooking and all that. Alright? This this stuff is like crap right here. All right. At least it's warmed up a little bit. I didn't make an apple pie, honey. I do make a good apple pie. I make a good blueberry pie, blackberry pie, chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, Jeff Davidson, Jeff Davidson, Jefferson Davis pie, which is what we called it in my house. You weren't allowed to give any credence to the union. Because my grandmother said the South will rise again. All right, Grandma. <clears throat> we'll hold our breath here. Y'all, you don't you come down to North Carolina talking that bullshit down there. Y'all get your head kicked in. All right, Grandma. The South will rise again. All right, Grandma. Y'all don't even know what it was like growing up. All right. All my pies come out pretty good, Naomi, because I've been baking for since I started the channel. After a while, baking becomes second nature. It's, it's a question of feel. You don't ever see me using recipes. Did you see me referring a recipe tonight? It's not the way it goes. All right. All right. It ain't the way it goes, honey. It ain't the way it goes. When I worked at Papsy, Pappy spinning pizza for a whole Damn summer. Oh, yeah. That's the way we do it up. All right. To do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, it's a war of northern aggression. That's exactly what it is. My grandmother would be very upset. All right. Let me tell you too, she had a mouth on her too, and she wasn't too kind. Right? I ain't saying she voted for George Wallace, but all right, there we go. We're not gonna be super fancy tonight. Uh covered in flour in bits. Uh No, you did offend Bird Dude because he already had a wonderful dinner out. As you know, at Cattleman's, which cost me a lot of money. Okay? To ask for anything more than that would be to ask you, what have you done to make him happy? Since you have such a high opinion, of the way that things should be. It's only fair to say, what did you do to brighten up this holiday? And the answer is not a damn thing. Okay, fair enough. You know, but please don't talk about what would have been nice or not nice. Do you know how many nights I cooked dinner for Bird? And offer him, have I ever cooked anything outside? and not offer blackbird to eat, right? Have I ever done that? I'm not the kind of person that can shove food down my throat without looking around me at the world because, well, shit, there's a lot of times growing up and I didn't have a lot to eat and I was very happy in Baltimore when people would 
be kind when I lived in a boarding house and stuff like that. It wasn't easy. Boy, this is a damn good can opener. I'm not saying that to be rude. Put down a little bit of this prison sauce. I don't got time to muck with it tonight. To me, bird dude, it's not a question of one day a year that you honor or take care of your brother and sister. It's 365 days of the year. Money doesn't move my needle. Yeah, I wish I had a lot more of it, but I don't sit around pining. Right? If I had memberships, I could have 200, 300 people a month easily. But that's not the deal. All right? That's not the way I'm constructing. All right, let's throw some cheese down. And I like you, bird dude. I'm just saying you got to take things in the totality of a whole year. This bird's been here for 14, 15, 16 months. He's never been healthier, happier. Right. He knows he's loved. He knows he's got people that care about him. You know, before he came here, he was living in a tent on the side of the road in winter time. And I'm damn glad to have him here. All right, damn glad. All right. So does it hit a nerve a little bit? One day is not a commitment to somebody make. You know. That's all I'm saying. All right. I like you, Bird Dude. You've always been funny. But I just wanted to speak my piece about that. Okay. I made a calzone already, Naomi. I don't think you were here, honey. I made a calzone. All right. I'm putting a little bit of this lousy parmesan on here. This stuff really is crap. They ripped me off at the store. This stuff really tastes like hell. Uh, he's good looking. He feels good. He's, you know, do I wish he would shove less drugs into him? Yeah, but it does not diminish his, his being a good human being. And let's also say, when I go away, I'm happy that somebody's here that can keep an eye on the place. Let me tell you, I worry about a lot of stuff around here. We're going to do up this pizza fully loaded. I mean, I just, in life, I would make a lousy landlord. I always was a bad money person. I could make money for other people. But I never cared about it myself enough to, you know, to put the screws to life. And, you know, I, I love people. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think we're going to, I should put some onions on here. What do you guys think? Should I put some, um, right, bird, bird dude's not going to spend a dime. He's an expert at telling other people what they should do. But as far as doing anything kind for somebody on YouTube, no. Right. No donations, no nothing. All right. Tear across. Let's get some pepperonis down. these taste. Yum, yum. I know you guys are like, what about the knuckleheads? They're waiting out there. I know. I know. This is a fully loaded pizza for dinner tonight. Sure less you want to be ashamed of yourself. Uh, 
report to HR. All of my love, all of my love. Yeah, I just never had the killer money instinct in me. I saw too many people destroyed by money. Embezzlement, fraud. Do, 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 do. Alright, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty righteous, man. That pizza's looking alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How's that looking? Alright, where are the knuckleheads? Did they take off? No! Here they are. I know y'all been waiting. I know y'all been waiting. Here we go. Hey, Jeffrey. Look at that. Hey, Elm Street. I know, I know, knuckleheads. I know. We're going to get some treats. Here we go. Oh, I know. How awful. There you go. Let me get some more. Hold on. Knuckleheads. There we go. Ooh. Come on, be a pal. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, and they're not gonna hurt you. All right, but you better leave some for your buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Alright, let you eat in peace a little bit. Ooh, ooh. There are the, oh, I better bring that in. The knuckleheads will be going nuts on that tonight. Ooh, ow, oh, oh, oh. I'm letting that rise a little bit. Oh, ooh, hey, Lee, the big. Boy, what a busy night tonight. What a stream, huh? Oh, boy. Letting that rise a little bit. Hey Denise, how are you? Ooh. We're getting ready to fire that baby in tonight. It's been a hell of a busy night in the kitchen. We hit that with a little bit of oil. We hit that with a little bit of uh where the hell is it? We hit that with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oh, and we are good to go. 
we got ourselves a convoy. It was the 6th of June in the dark of the moon in the Kenworth Hall in Hogs. And I with a reefer on. We got a mighty convoy running through the night. Convoy. Yeah, breaker one nine. Oh, ooh. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Catherine. Uh, yeah, I'm baking inside tonight. Yep. As long as I've got it, I already got the cheese on, honey. As long as I got the oven already gone, right. the cheese is there, honey. I don't like cheese above the meat. All right. We got a mighty convoy, ooh, 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 ooh. convoy, a breaker one nine. Hey, it was the sixth of June in the dark of the moon in the Kenworth Hall and Hogs. Cap over nine with a reefer on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry about the bird, dude. He's just butt hurt tonight. Pizza and pie, Ward. How are you? Yeah, I made another lemon meringue pie. This is my signature one because I'm going to the Boston Janice tomorrow. So, we'll have to put this in the pie carrier, the cake carrier tomorrow to take it with us. We'll let it just cool down to room temperature. It should be served at room temperature, and then after the initial serving, what's left should be refrigerated. Ooh. Uh, was the intense rain impactful on Blackbird? Yes. Yes. Yeah, don't, uh, don't talk to Blackbird unless you want to see how two-faced somebody can be. Tell you what you should do, but what has he ever done for anybody on YouTube? And the answer is nothing. Right, but he's one of those people that's expert at telling you what you should do for other people. All right, in she goes. All right. That's what my grandma called a two-face SOB. But I'm too kind here. So, ooh, ooh. No, he doesn't have a hobby. I think Bird Dude's hobby is minding other people's business. Right. He had a lot to express about a birthday tomorrow. Right. We got a mighty convoy. Absolutely zero regard for the rest of the year, but boy, tomorrow night. I'll be interested to see if he joins Blackbird's live stream tomorrow night in does something. I think I got uh, $10 I'll bet anybody that he doesn't do a damn thing for anybody. Ooh, just tell other people what they should do and how they should spend their money. Boy, that was just beautiful tonight. That pie is going to be good to go tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, the pie turned out real good, Rio. Give you a close up there. You'll get a little bit of weeping overnight. But it really needs to sit overnight. Oh, he won't, James. Are you kidding me? He won't he won't give a dime to anybody. Good night, Barry. There it is. All right. People, everybody has to support, but I do say, if you can't keep balanced opinions, keep them to yourself. All right. All right. You obviously needed a little bit of re-education tonight. That is, how you doing, Bane? Good to see you. Doesn't that look good? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's 
So we got the pizza in there. We're going to be enjoying that. I'm down a rack. I don't guess I got a rack here. I'm using old pizza dough that I froze. I really don't know what the performance is going to be tonight. I have no idea. Uh, but you'll notice everything is cleaned up. Virtually everything is cleaned up in the kitchen. Which is exactly the way I like it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. to have a CB radio. I went out the 70s. I got my ass the Cobra base station. I used to be like hell on wheels in Baltimore. Oh, shit. All the truckers come through. I'm like, you'll never find me. Right. You'll never find me. Good night, Ashley. Thanks for coming in. Oh... I think this is the biggest stream we had this year. Ooh, got a lot of peeps here. We got a mighty, ooh. Nope, you didn't miss anything with Bert, no. Uh, convoy. I don't know how well that trust crust is gonna perform. I don't know. I don't know about Pizza Campagnola, but that's where my boyfriend is in Italy. Ah. Oh, thank you, Blazer. I appreciate it. We got a mighty convoy. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, Denise, just calling somebody out tonight. Do, 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 convoy. Yeah, breaker one nine. Oh. I think that's coming along pretty damn good. Uh, uh, please don't bitch about my moderators, okay? Alright. Just sit in a chair, they'll do, do you wonder. Uh, yeah, well, thank you, Jerry Jones. I appreciate that. You remember those CB days on Breaker 1-9? Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9. Yeah, you got called out for, sent, for not sending your hard-earned money. You don't support anybody, Bird Dude. Okay, but you'll tell other people what they should do. Just to recap, that's where you went wrong. You told other people what you should do. You didn't step forward yourself to make sure that somebody else has a nice birthday. You just foisted it on somebody else to make that happen. While you sit back with all your money in your pocket and all your smugness and think of how great you are, that you don't give a dime to these low lowlifes, right? Right, so proud, you tell your family, oh, I never do anything to support these low lowlifes. Uh, hey, Ilva, how are you? There's that pride element, but boy, you'll be front and center to tell other people what they should do. Right. It's twilight time. 
kitchen has been in high gear tonight, right? It's looking good, though. Looking good. Looking good. Scanners. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, don't send money to me. Send it to Blackbird since you're so concerned. About Blackbird having a good birthday, Bird Dude. Let's see how you step up to brighten his day. Let's see what you do. Right? And I got uh, 10 bucks says you won't do a damn thing. And in real life, you wouldn't do a damn thing for him either. Let's be real. Uh, 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 what's up, JK No Cow? <laughs> I've had that. I have that in the morning, health. I have that in the morning. I'm like, oh, I'm like, damn, I gotta get up and, uh, I gotta get up and pee, and then I'm like, nah. And it's useless. You know you're gonna lose the battle. What's up, JK? Here we go, JK, nice lemon meringue, ball high lemon meringue pie. Uh, that kitty loving up to me. Yeah, you got to refresh, Catherine. You're like five, 10 minutes behind or something on the chat. So. I don't know what's going on, girlfriend. Yeah, we got a few more minutes to go on this pizza here. Uh, 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 yeah, well, if I send him my cash, I'll be an enabler. You never do anything for anybody, bird dude. You wouldn't enable anybody except yourself, sitting back all smug, all content, bragging to your friends. I don't ever do anything for anybody. I got all my money in my pocket. But I'll tell you what you should do and what you should spend your money on regardless of what you do the other 364 days of the year, right? Uh, right? That's your whole philosophy. Oh, yeah, that's the truth, health, I know. Right? I don't know, bird dude is just here to be a troll. Do, 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 do. So I don't really care. I think I've made my point with Bird Dude. Anything else Bird Dude says is just a recovery program on his part. All right, it's going to be some good eating. Let's look at the bottom here. It's nice and crispy. That's where a lot of people go wrong. Is they don't uh, properly use a baking stone to get the bottom really a beautiful crust right Ooh. oh that's looking good oh, oh, oh. but we need to go that a little longer to get that lovely Raptor, how you doing from Northern Wisconsin? How are ya? It's like JK said, fuck them all, man. You ever seen JK no cow take any prisoners? Hell no! <laughs> you ever seen JK no cow lose a night's sleep? Hell no. Alright, he knows he knows what the philosophy is. He's been here. He knows rant. He knows the rancho. Right? He knows what's going on. Yeah, what do you think, Ronnie? There's a pecking order. Uh, look at Roxy. Who in the hell is Roxy? Yeah. Oh, you mean Rosie? Oh, thank you, Emma. You have to have the 
mile high. When you cut into that, you want to make sure there's many, plenty of uh, meringue on there. All right, this also cuts down on the weeping a lot too. So, do 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 do, ba ba da ba do bo. Thank you, Cheryl. Do 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 do. I guess to recap, folks, don't criticize somebody unless you're able to throw yourself into the breach and make up for any perceived deficiencies that the other person might have. Say, oh, Rosie's so cheap, she couldn't share that with you, right? Are you kidding? She couldn't make an extra pie? Are you kidding me? Right. I'll take care of it for you. I got you covered, bro. I got you covered. Eh, fuck them all, man. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> oh, frig. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't bake anymore. I bake at least every week, at least one thing a week. All right, I think we're probably getting damn close to done on that. We got a couple more minutes. Uh, baked in the cake. Ronnie knows what the story is. Ronnie knows. Ronnie's the godfather around here. Ronnie's like the boss man now. Ronnie sees what goes on. From Sheboygan! From Sheboygan! HR. HR was here. <laughs> sure, alas, in the HR department. You are, uh, you are hereby instructed to report to Human Resources at 9 a.m. Monday. At that time, we will talk about your continuing employment with the firm, as well as ways that, if we decide, modification of behavior may be undertaken, depending on your stature and position with the company. Should you be unable to keep this appointment, the ramifications of such a outcome might be severe. I'm not behind the chat, honey. I am right up on top of the chat. Right? Ah. Yeah, goat breath. That's it. Nobody want to hear about goat breath. I have received emails like that. And my boss always said, don't ever worry about what HR sends you. You're marketing and business development. We don't answer to HR. We have our own, it's like Hebrew National. We have a higher authority, which means if you're making it rain, <laughs> if you're a rainmaker, you don't answer to anybody. Oh. Baby, we're gonna let that go a couple more minutes because we're cooking it low heat. We're gonna fire up that uh, temperature a little more. We're gonna throw that up to 800 for a minute. Oh. Um, let me see, Shiloh Rose. The widgets, all okay? I don't know. The widgets, all right. Hey, Kaylee. Oh, no, Fonz, it's okay. I do, I do my repair stuff for, for uh, just the enjoyment of it. All right, the widget's been working. Off at 4 a.m. and HR at 9. Can you imagine that? You get off work at 4 o'clock, you get home at 5. You barely got time to get a shower and get your ass in bed. Then you gotta get up at 7 o'clock to be at HR to talk about what? Because you told somebody that they had goat breath. Well, you know, in HR, that's big news. I mean, oh my God, on the fourth floor, that's all they talk about. But on the ninth floor, 
where they're selling shit, they're laughing up there, okay? JK no foul, JK no cow would be like, holy hell, really? Really? <laughs> JK's like, I work for myself, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! He's like, that's exactly why. Yeah, it might take a few minutes, but I'm not seeing any issue with the widget. It's um, functional, the volume thing's responding and everything. <laughs> I come in and knock upon my window. That big old moon is shining down. Ooh, tell me now the do 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 do. Uh, yeah, I can function. I used to function on four hours of sleep for years from 2000. When I bought this place, I'd be working till 2 a.m. and getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Every damn day except uh, Sunday. Uh, four hours a night. I'd be 5 a.m. in front of the, uh, in my baby doll nighty dancing around in the kitchen. Right? But my boss always said, HR is something that you have to endure. Right. Sometimes you have to give people a little bit of tribute, right? We get along in the organization. They're happy. They called you on the carpet. Right. Oh, that's looking good. I think we're going to declare that done or else I'm going to be eating my hand off right now. Oh, look at that. Let's see if that side's good. Yeah, we're all good there. Alright. Oh, I'm so warm inside tonight. I'm so happy. I'm not freezing my sack off. Uh, there we go. Got nice brown underneath it there. Should be good. That's what you call pie, honey. 3.1415 Thank you, Fetish. We've been cranking it out tonight in Kitchen Stadium. For sure, we have been cranking it out. Let's get this one. In. All right, let's get, do another little shorty here. People are loving these. Oh. Homemade pizza in Kitchen Stadium tonight. If you saw the lemon meringue earlier, we're really doing it up. Make sure you subscribe and follow. Always something cool going on in the channel. First time every time. Right there. That big old moon is uh, down. Ooh, tell me now. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, in the blanket on the ground. I'm not going to pay attention to uh, that guy anymore. He already disclosed himself as a troll, so. Uh, he will get no more of my attention. Uh, look at that pie, baby. Woo! 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 That big old moon is sliding down. Ooh, ooh. Tell me now, do 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 do. Ooh, on the blanket, on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh, blanket on the bedroom. We'll go walking hand in hand. Ooh, to that place down by the river. 
Beach, where our sweet love first began. We gotta let that cool off a little bit more, but man, is that good. That is a rockin' ass pizza right there. That is a rockin' ass pizza. Right there. I wish I had 800 degrees, Elmer. Because you know I love... Hey, Jen, you know I love to be high heat baking. Where color equals flavor. Don't ever forget that. Alright. <laughs> Chef, I love to work for you are you kidding me that would be such an honor to work for you with all the years of uh, experience you have I mean you're you're like the you're like the godfather of uh, you know of cooking and everything I always said chef you should be on uh, you should be on Food Network who come and knock on them my window? That big old moon is shining down. Oh, tell me now. Do, 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 do. Uh, let me tell you guys. Ooh, if Chef tells you you did good, you best believe that you did good. Right. Mmm. Mmm. I don't mean to freak you guys out, but this is so damn good. Yeah, Denise, when are you coming over, honey? You snooze, you know, this is mushroom and pepperoni tonight. Mm. Chef, it turned out wonderfully. And I used the old dough that I had frozen. I just pulled it out because I thought, well, I'm making a lemon meringue pie for the Boston Janet and I'm not going to have a time. Thank you, Kaylee. Mmm. Nice crust on the bottom. Mmm. CJ, welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming in. You look beautiful. We've had a ton of new people come onto the channel. Thank you. Mm. If there's nothing I can't nail, how about you, uh, Denise? <laughs> Remember, I saw you in person. You made an impression on me. Mm. I thought the mock Wellington was good. Do, 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 do. Side 
Hey, John. No, I think it's a good title, Chef. song. Yeah, thank you, Denise. I'm glad I met you, too. That's the little song app over there. I put it on the side so it wouldn't show up on the whole screen. Hmm. Yeah, I met the beautiful Denise in person. We met at uh, grocery yeah. outlet one night. Blackbird wants a treat. Summer
Bobby McGee. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I paid $7.99 tonight. Well, I've got, I've got to remember, I've been baking since I had a channel here. Hey, Ron. That's a long time. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, we should get paper plates because I'm just getting lower and lower on uh, tableware and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I paid uh, $7.99 for $18. Um, after I finished work about 1 o'clock, yeah, tonight's unusual for me. Because I had to bake the pie and then get some dinner going. Ooh. I think I have, but uh, isn't Simon and Garfunkel on the block list who ever played this? <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. Good night, Megan. Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't make anything for myself unless I shared it with, uh, I wouldn't make anything for myself unless I shared it with Blackbird. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I'm not going to eat it in the next two days. I'm going to be down at the boss and Janet, so, uh, you know, that way the food doesn't go to waste. Right.
Well, I don't know. I never override my moderators. I stopped doing that five months ago. My moderators run the chat, so. I tell people call it, people writing bitch to me, oh, this happened, that happened. I'm like, you know, you're not gonna have moderators if you override them, so. They run the side chat. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just saying, they make the decisions on the uh, chat. I don't. My days of fumbling around, because I, I always get it wrong. I always screw up. Every time I go to try to do something, good night, Kaylee. I always knock out. All right, take care, Fat. It's good to see you, babe. Every time I've ever tried to moderate a chat, I've always um, absolutely uh, screwed it up, knocked people out. It's been a mess. Exactly, Amanda. I've, I have the sausage fingers coming for the screen. And what did I do? The night that I put Jody out, I know I knocked out half the chat. I knocked Shemay out. It's like, oh, God. I can't even find these people to unblock them. Wow, what a mess. That day made an impression on me. And I'm like, well, I usually have a moderator here, so I'm just going to not touch anything anymore. And, uh, you know, Amanda, you're right. I made a mess of it. I'm not, I'm not cut out to be a moderator, right? I mean, that's why you got moderators, right? So, you know, you can, you can drop a, drop a Gmail to my moderators if you want, okay? <laughs> yeah, I really bombed away on this baby tonight, right? You make me want to shout, ooh, ooh, shout, ooh, say you will get down. You know you want to make me shout, ooh, oh, 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 hey, 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 oh, I can't afford to have my champion gear, ah, uh, I am just, oh, so Amanda, I think I love you more. <laughs> I think I love you more than you love me. To be honest with you, I think you're funny and uh, you're not always super crazy about everything I do, but you understand, it's just, it's just the way I am, right? <laughs> I think sometimes Amanda would like to... You idiot. Yeah, HR never closes. Right? <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me Cheryl's not a natural for HR. I mean, really? This girl's got it going on for HR. Right? But I've never been to HR, right? Well, you should be. Uh, yeah, you're very special to me, Amanda. And I always like you have opinions, and I get it. 8.30 night, because they knew I was there. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's right, James. When I close the chat, the HR window closes. But you got to understand, Jenny Jen Jen, how you doing, babe? you got to understand, though. When you are in sales and marketing. I'm doing good, Jenny, Jen, Jen. Just been following you, honey. I know you've been like, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys are too wild for me. <laughs> I got to pick a night when uh, things are calm to pop on and talk about old Boyd and all that. But uh, nice to see you, Jenny, Jen. Uh, hey, Sue. And I had to laugh my ass off at that. My boss said, look, you're in... You're making it rain. You pay that girl's salary down there. But you don't ever want that girl to know. Uh, yeah, I know you're, <laughs> you're not in any trouble. You have people that absolutely adore you, Jenny Jen. You'll never be in trouble, honey. Uh, my boss is like, you pay her salary down there. 
All right, you're the one that's out selling shit. You're the one that's getting on a plane to Beijing and Shanghai and Xinjiang and Sichuan, All right? But you got to give her her due. You got to honor her. You got to sit there and behave yourself when you get called down to that office. All right? I want you to sit there, and say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You need to honor that, All right? <clears throat> yeah, you better be proper. That's what my boss said. You better fly right when you go down there. If you go down there and cop an attitude, I'm not going to have your back. Right. So, sure, Les, this is going to make you happy. I always, I always was very honorable. I didn't ever get snooty. Hey, Brenda, I'm falling asleep. Yeah, we got royalty in here. We got Jen, Jenny, Jen, Jen in here tonight. Nice to see you, honey. Jenny, Jen, Jen, you're like one of those fighter pilots in World War II that's flying, you know, and you got, you got people doing climbs, they're coming behind you, right, they're firing on you, you're going left, you're going right, you're going up, you're going down, you're grabbing the stick, putting it in power dive. Honey, <clears throat> nobody's landed a bullet on you yet, okay? <laughs> Good night, Rupert. That's the way I see things, Jenny, Jen, Jen. Right? That's exactly the way I see things. It's like, right, they're coming in behind you like Snoopy and the Red Baron. You just keep being you. And I promise you one night when it's quiet, I will be, I love you too, honey, I will come on and we'll talk about old, uh, old stuff, so... So many ways, I think that you're on the right side of stuff, and you know, it's uh, right. One thing nobody can ever say about you is you don't have a conscience, that's for sure. And you've been through a lot of stuff too, so. Right. Good call, Dan, to Cheryl's HR department, 9 a.m., exactly. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl, are you doing scratchers? Holy hell. You're doing scratchers? Holy smokes. How about that? Oh, it was great to come out. You even two bucks is ahead. How you doing, Dave? And more bonding and caring instead of attacking and then oh I mean, Yeah, I'm just saying Jenny Jen, you can't let anybody. You gotta understand that there's always gonna be some people that wanna build the channel off of whatever you know, if you suddenly you know, had a lot of people in chat and you're going good, it's gonna get attention from people, right? <clears throat> but I would say that you did that in a positive way, not that not that negative way. Uh, amazing in the kitchen. Thank you, Sarita. Thank you, sweetie. Shall I show <laughs> the lemon? And we wiped out the pizza. Hey, Donna, how you doing, babe? That's what you call a rancho lemon meringue pie, ready to deliver to the boss and Janet's tomorrow. Mile high lemon meringue pie. Now I know Don is like, woo! Rosie, be my girl. There you go. Now they turn out good tonight. All right? Would I be Donna's girl in a heartbeat? Hell yeah. There it is. So it was a busy night tonight. We did a lot of stuff here. It looked pretty good, Jen Jen, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Catherine's like, I don't want to see you kill yourself in Kitchen Stadium, right? So I need to make sure that you do good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to put my net over it right now, Ronnie. Right now. I brought this thing all the way from China with me. 
Yep, and being as we're coming up to Chinese New Year, the year of the rabbit, I didn't like that. Right, that's the way they do stuff. Right there. All right, we keep that baby really nice. Right there. Uh. Oh, it will help. It just takes a while sometimes. It won't take anything. If it does, it'll kick it back to you or it'll play the next stream. The widget's working good. The widget is working good. Yes, the year of the rabbit. And I don't really know how I feel about the year of the rabbit. The pig year is prosperity. So I don't know. We just finished the year of the rat. So I don't know what the rabbit's all about. Uh, let's see the year of the rabbit. La da da. La da 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 do da da da. La da da. Thank you, Joni. Your uh, your uh, hamburger and gravy and potatoes look good today, honey. Uh, let's see. I've just been baking a lot of years. Let's see, year of the rabbit. Let's see. Uh. Uh, if you were born in 2023, 2011, 1999, 1987, 1975, 63, 1951, 39, or 27. Uh, Fun Tai Shui indicating a year character. I'm not going to translate from the Chinese. Fourth of all zodiac animals, legend has it the rabbit was proud, arrogant even of its speed. He was neighbors with the ox and always made fun of how slow the ox was. My mother-in-law was an ox. One day the Jade Emperor said the zodiac order would be decided by the order in which the animals arrived at his party. <laughs> rabbit set off at daybreak, but when he got there, no other animals were in sight. Thinking it would obviously be first, he went off to the side and napped. However, when he woke up, three other animals had already arrived. One of them was the ox he had always looked down upon. All right. <clears throat> the rabbit is yin. Rabbit represents the moon. Uh, paired with Tion, there's 60-year calendrical sighting. Wow. I'm not going to get into all the Chinese of it ever. So, but oh, uh, ooh, ooh. year year of the rancho. That's right, Monica. Uh, rabbit is a tame and tender animal and swift and move. People born in the year of the rabbit usually have soft and tender personality traits. Wow. They keep a modest attitude and maintain a pleasant relationship to people around. They will not be irritated easily. And they also avoid quarrels as much as possible. That's interesting. Gentle, quiet, elegant, and alert. Pretty cool. All right. Year of the rooster. Yeah, yeah. Year of the rooster. Year of the Rooster. Let's see. I've met Catherine in person. Let's see. Let's see. The Rooster is a kick-ass. <clears throat> According to traditional Chinese Zodiac, Rooter, Rooster is the smartest and most intelligent of all the signs with the most confidence. People born in the years that a rooster usually share lots of common personality traits, such as being responsive, distinctive, and the smartest of all in the zodiac. I would say that's a, that's you, Catherine. Right? Very observant, hardworking, loyal, and trustworthy. Sociable, very accomplished, and usually very well dressed. Shrewd and daring. That's a good one. You got a good one there. I think I'm a rat. Here of the Ratsky. The Ratsky's a good one too. I think Ratsky's a, a sub prosperity. Mm. Rats are quick witted, 
I knew this was a good one. Quick witted, resourceful, and smart. With rich imaginations and sharp observations, they can take advantage of various opportunities. In Chinese culture, rats represent working diligently and thriftiness. So people born in a rat year are thought to be wealthy and extremely prosperous. There you go. The monkey's a good one, too. My daughter is a uh, monkey. Hosa. Xiao Hosa. Or have magnetic personalities and are witty and most intelligent. Personality traits like mischievousness, curiosity, and cleverness, cleverness make them very naughty. Ooh. Monkeys are masters of practical jokes because they like playing them most of the time. Always have enviable abilities and wisdoms. Another super smart zodiac sign. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> CJ. The year. Uh, let's see. The, we know what the dog is. That's what I am. The dog is intensely loyal. People born in the year of the dog may be endowed with some lovely dog personality traits. Honest, amiable, kind, cautious, prudent, loyal, reliable, considerate, understanding, patient, hardworking, and sincere. Dogs are renowned for being able to keep a confidence. Would you say that applies to me? Hey, Savannah. Renowned for being able to keep a confidence. And I would say that that's pretty good. I've never broken a um, confidence. They will never abandon their friends, family, or work. They are extremely popular in social circles. Uh... Jody, a rooster. Yeah. 1985. I don't know what that is. That's the year of the ox. That's what my grandmother was. Thank you, Savannah. Thank you, sweetie, for your so kind support. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Savannah. Wow. Savannah Lauren with 1999. Thank you, Savannah. How very sweet of you. Savannah Lauren tipped 1999 wow. cents through Super Chat. Yeah, I keep a confidence. I would never break a confidence. Ever, ever, ever. If I ever did a tell-all on the void and, and uh, oh my God, I'd never do that though. It's not in my makeup, so. Oh, I always keep a secret. Somebody tells me, don't ever tell anybody. They know damn well I'm never going to tell anybody, so. Do, 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 do. The dogs are good. Dogs. So we're coming up to the re year of the rabbit. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. Thank you, Savannah. You have a wonderful night, honey. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, secrets are safe. Uh, well, the rooster's good, Catherine. That's a good, uh, that's a good, good sign. I think it bore out your intelligence and uh, magnetic personality. A rooster is a damn good thing to have. Mm, that's a damn good sign to have. Take it from somebody who spent five years in China. All right. We got some wonderful people around here. Truly wonderful people. Oh, Jody, thank you for sending that, honey. Uh, and somebody sent to PayPal tonight. Oh, Virginia, thank you. Thank you, honey. Virginia, I'm not going to give a name out. Uh, oh, thank you. That's always nice. I just want you to know... You're absolutely stunning. <laughs> How you like me now? With all the sauce on me and everything. Uh, mm, uh, I'm just I'm glad Catherine seems to be doing better. I don't know. I always worry about her. She always does it. She always... You do too much, Catherine. 
You know, you're like, oh, I don't go to sleep till late at night, or, you know, I don't know. I worry about you. Oh. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Bird is down for the night. Down for the camp. I worry about everything. Uh, Cheryl, what's your zodiac sign? This should be good. <laughs> <laughs> the pigeon. <laughs>
All right. You'd be surprised how true these uh, these things are. Uh, the boar, yeah, the pig is very, very prosperous. My youngest daughter's pig, and that's a very good sign to be born under for for wealth. <laughs> Talk to my passengers. Oh man, James, that's funny. I'd rather talk to my passengers than 90% of my co-workers. Jeez. Uh, do it up. Ah. Bum, 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 Ooh, ooh, watch Bobby hit the brakes tomorrow and spill the whole damn pie. Uh, yeah, the boar is a very, it's a symbol of, ex, in the zodiac, the boar, the pig is a, extreme wealth. Big wealth. It's associated with the wealth sign. <clears throat> Wooden dragon, there you go, Dave. You're getting the hang of it. Uh, but uh, to be a year of the pig is very fortunate. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry you uh I'm sorry you lost a friend health. Terrible. Sorry to hear that. The boy missed our clan on that. I don't know, it's still yeah, you still got time. One of y'all might hit the lottery or something, you never know. Do 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 ooh, ooh. You never know. Well, mom and friend in one week. Yeah, I remember I lost my dad. Oof. And officially became an orphan. Uh so God love you, health. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, what a night tonight. I ate well. Oh, my, oh, my, what a beautiful day. Ooh, I played mom's birth and death numbers this week. We'll see. This is my, my, my beautiful Sunday. Yeah, you've been an orphan since 21. It does suck. Uh, you're going to lose a lot more health. All right. That's for sure. Do, 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 do. This is my, my, my beautiful son. Sure, what a chat tonight, huh? <laughs> we had it all in here. Bird dude laying down his bullshit tonight. What do you think, Jody? Yeah, Jody's in the orphan club. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. What a beautiful... They do communicate. That's nice. Mission got unstable in here. I had to go over to the Verizon side. Orphan at 40. There you go, P2E. <clears throat> I'm not a sentimental person, though. I don't have any pictures of family, nothing around at all. To me, when they're gone, they're gone. That's it. I'm very cut and dried. <clears throat> oh, my. I like my memories to be all up here. It was real nice to, to see my brother the other night. That was a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, beautiful, oh. Uh. We kind of committed to be in New York City next uh, Christmas time. Could be a lot of fun. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Ah, what a beautiful day. Oh, oh, oh. So there's a lot of good um, 
every every zodiac sign has its plus and it's got its minus right there's nothing that you can uh do about it all right <sighs> look at all these buttheads all the they tried to cyber squat on my channel claim released claim released they try to take my highest watch videos and claim that the music was theirs. Go fuck yourself. Morons. Hate that stuff. This is my, my, my beautiful Sunday. This is my... P38 or P51. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, guys. Well, I think we've been five hours. I've worked my moderators to death tonight. It's been a great chat this evening. I'm going to go ahead and close it down. I will see you on the road to do a morning, uh, little morning thing tomorrow. I got metal detecting coming up tomorrow, too. Of course, I had a run in with somebody that's the sheriff of the street. Right? He's got to tell you what you can do and what you can't do and all that. So he'll be coming up tomorrow. He got his ass into my grill. Uh, so he'll be coming up tomorrow too. Right? I get tired of these people. Good night. Uh, good night, Catherine. What the hell's going on here? What the hell is this damn thing? Good night, Catherine. And to my wonderful moderators, Amanda, you know I love you most of all, honey. You always make me laugh. And uh, we may not always see eye to eye. But girl, you always got it going on. For those who played songs, thank you so much. To my moderators, you worked overtime tonight. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, I'll see you live tomorrow night. I will be live a rare saturday night on this uh channel because it is with the uh, boss and janet so see you guys tomorrow night thank you and uh i'll be giving it to bobby a little bit for you guys don't worry <laughs> thanks everybody this is my my